Hello, everybody. Welcome to Marky Gaming today. That was a nice loud creak right there, too. I know. What was that? <laughs> uh, welcome in, everybody. Glad you are here. Hi to all of you. Uh, thanks for joining us today. I really appreciate you spending your Sunday with us. Um, let's hope today goes well, because we're all a little frazzled. You might see, like, Mike's in a bit of a different place than he normally is. It's <laughs> it's all craziness going on here, so we're going to we're gonna do it live, as they say. So <laughs> let's, let's do this and see how it goes. Have some fun playing some D&D together with friends and get a hydrate in. All right. <clears throat> well. I already did mine. You did a good job. <laughs> I did mine already. I forgot to grab water before the session, so I may run out of water at some point. So. Uh oh. <laughs> so, oh no. You can okay. you can sprint during the intro. We're doing it live. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Could sprint the <laughs> intro from fall down the stairs or something. <laughs> oh like right. yes, like Kelly. Yes. Uh but welcome in everybody. We are glad you are joining us. Let's get into some player introductions and then play some D D right yeah. after that. So Rachel, take it away. Introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Rachel slash tip 400 arts. Um, that's where you can find me on Instagram and Twitter and other social media platforms. Um, I also stream here on Marquee Gaming uh, on Mondays at 3.30 CST. Uh, I do art streams, so I usually will go through commissions or professional projects, whatever it is I feel like doing that day. So come hang out with me tomorrow, 3.30 CST. We'll have a good time. Uh, and then in this game, I play Karis, a 17-year-old shadow sorcerer. She just got her best friend Rodden back. She has a bunch of glitter in her pocket still. She's ready to go. Always ready yeah. to go. And yeah. Surprising somebody with a pocket full of glitter. So. <laughs> I don't, I, that's Ren's thing is just blowing it in their face. Yeah. <laughs> is his weapon <laughs> yes for sure strange. for sure um but yeah that's Rachie. let's drop down to kelly now hi i'm kelly um i play raya the level 13 are we 13 now 13 rogue um i am frazzled only in the sense that i don't remember what happened last time and also i'm gonna need the recap because i'm like i have no idea where she is currently so but i'm excited i think it's gonna go well <laughs> regardless yeah it's exciting to play some D D, and yes we'll get into a recap shortly about what happened because i had to re refresh myself as well a little bit yeah i'm like where was i what was i doing <laughs> and our final player uh in a different space go ahead take it away michael why hello that's my rachel hello there uh i'm just copying that uh hi guys my name is michael also known as a bardic dice uh from the other side of the country as you guys know i'm in literally the middle of a cross-country move so that's why you see a new background and i know i'm my stream set up today so hopefully things will work and if you see me look really quick over it's because i'm literally in a motel with like people walking past the door every moment so i'm curious what's gonna happen uh but i normally stream here on twitch i'll be back eventually once i get settled um here but uh i will be um playing here on marquee gaming as mithernon the uh, moon elf level 13 i'm a get the split six paladin seven sorcerer oh i'm excited because he's back in his moon elf camp and hopefully we'll help uh, his uh, body rot in. We're going to see what happens. Oh, That's right. Get now hurt. <laughs> Come on, I'm moving up. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I got it. The art right now on the stream, too, has, like, the nice glow right behind the Mithranon arc. So it looks like a big moon glow type situation. It's pretty great. Yeah, it's sweet. That's, uh, that's what I was going for. Perfect placement. Perfect. Exactly. <laughs> Uh, and I am Mark, I am the Dungeon Master here, and I uh, br just bring the pain, and that's what I do. Um, <laughs> I guess that's a good description of... We were talking about... We, Mike and I were talking yesterday about 
Killian Mithranon with the, the ooze a while back, and we we're talking about killing other players a while back. To, yeah, it's just we were having a good discussion yesterday about the player death. So, yep, good time. I mean, I'm not the first, and it won't be the last. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, I'm I'm ready to play some D and D. Still getting my head in the right space, but we're gonna play. We're gonna do this. We're gonna have fun. And we're going to start off with our intro. back everyone ready to get into today's session i did not pick a song ahead of time so let's find a song to play for this i don't know what will be good sure we'll try this one you know riff from this morning <laughs> that's what i put a song in my, my head <laughs> so our players um Again, exclamation point recap if ever, anybody needs it later on. Help out new people, maybe, if you see them. Uh, question what's going on. Our party uh, spent the morning uh, at the Iron Fist connecting with each other, sharing some moments, eating breakfast together. Uh, Karis talking to Rodden, giving him some gifts. It was a, it was a nice, calm morning. Uh, until Carter called Ren and Little Man, and that started a bit of a, a duel of sorts that had to happen. Um, Not yelled from it. <laughs> Carter won. <laughs> Just put it simply. <laughs> uh, but magic was not involved, so that's a big, big factor in that, of course. But uh, it was a, it was a bit of a beat down. But after that, they went to Spire and talked to Mister Shaw for a little bit. They gave Rodden the anti-mind control injection, uh, and who knows if that worked on him or not. Party has yet to find out. And then from there, a little bit of a new power that Karis discovered that she had to be able to teleport her party to different places. Uh, they decided they were going to use that to go visit the Moon Elves. So they all joined together with Rodden, and the four of them poof, blinked out and appeared on the shores of the Moon Elf camp. Looking out over the vast waters, which Rodden seemed to really take to, and eventually were met by some, some of the villagers there, some of the tribe members, and was brought in after talking to their chief, Ratha, and they set up an afternoon meeting with the leader that has seemed to recover some of his memory, Rydell, and also to potentially use the moon orb that they have there to do some sort of spirit walk, maybe to see if that can help Rodden change his connection to Alasha, potentially? We'll see what ends up happening with that. So, um, our party then went to go eat lunch, meeting up with uh, Mithranon's sister, and just had a somewhat relaxing lunch together. And that's where we're going to pick up, is with them 
still hanging out, eating lunch together, uh, just having a nice family reunion, I guess, of sorts. It doesn't sound like nice family reunion music. <laughs> it was bad Sorry, I did not prepare no, no. a song. I just picked a song. <laughs> I, that, that wasn't. It was just. It, it sounds like ominous. I didn't know if it was an intentional. It's an ominous like... family reunion. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, any reunion with Mithron is ominous. So. It's yeah, true. The, the clouds are beginning to roll, and it's becoming a bit of a cloudy or colder know. day um, as the afternoon's hitting. Yeah, your sister's there, uh, Rodden is there, and um, they're both just very, I mean, your sister especially, uh, Valisa is quite happy to have you back in the house again, Renan, and just to kind of spend some more time with you as you've been away from home, mo like, her whole life, so. Forever. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, uh, Ren would just be probably small talking her, um, catching up on her daily life and what kind of schooling she's having or haunting, and then trying to help pick out glitter from different places. Oh, it's on your eyebrow, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> she would definitely be a fan of the glitter as well with Karis if she would share, so... Oh yeah, I could if if she wants, I would show her like all my vials, and she can pick a little bit to put on her on her dad's stuff if she wants. <laughs> There's little sprinkles of glitter like across everything when uh, you're done. Just a little layer of glitter across everything. This is so good decorated now. Oh yeah, it, this is great. And if I get grounded, uh, we'll just leave in the morning. <laughs> so. Oh, he'll be fine. But did yeah. did Rafa say how long it was going to take? Uh, she just said sometime in the afternoon, probably. Just wanted to make sure that uh, Rydell would be up to a conversation with you. Okay, because I only have two hours of this spell. <laughs> or I could talk to them, so... Yep. <laughs> so that may become an issue unless you want to recast it at some point. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, I can check on Rafa and kind of see how things are going if you guys want. If you want. Before you get a chance to do that, though, uh, your father does come home uh, as you are all hanging out there. Uh, which side is your dad's picture? Let's find out here in a second. If I can find the picture. Are you put it in directly in front of you now? Yeah. <laughs> just cover all of Because there's no more me. room. <laughs> no, I'll just I'll remove Val's picture for now. What is this? Um, but yeah, your father enters in, just kind of moving in uh, the house and Mr. On, uh, good to see you. Hey, Dad. Uh, brought visitors. Sorry, we didn't give you a heads Hi, up. Hi, friends, Dad. Good afternoon. Um, to all of you. Oh. This Inside is Rodden. Does he have any CS? <laughs> Go ahead, roll the Raya roll. Let's see. <laughs> I don't know. I want to see how happy he is to see us. Oh. Um, oh, uh, 31. 31. Um... <laughs> It's a mix of surprise you see in his eyes, but mm -hmm. joy in seeing okay. Renan. Okay. What about seeing us? <laughs> yes, what was it? Their joy. A little indifferent joy. about you guys. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. <laughs> um, but Val will slide over a plate that she prepared for him as well, and he'll come and sit at the table. Uh, it's Good to see you. Um, you're doing well? Yeah, um, for the most part, you know. Things are kind of a little still crazy in the city, but at least you guys seem to be doing safe. And, you know, 
This is Rodden. Um, this, this is, is Rodden. My best friend. My best friend. Hello. <laughs> I forgot. Did you cast this on Rodden? I did. Okay. So Rodden mm -hmm. will greet him. Uh, hi. Hi. Good to meet you. Uh, well, glad to see you're doing well. Uh, do you need a place to stay tonight? I look at Karis. You need to rest before you do your spell again? I can't do that again today. Um, and yes. Like, of course. I mean, again, we don't want to be inconvenienced. We can just, like, sleep outside or something. We don't want to bother you guys. In this weather? No. You will sleep indoors. Yeah. <laughs> Appreciate it. We'll move things around here for you and clear some space for four additional people. <laughs> Yeah, Did... we don't need much, but yeah. and Val will just be like, okay, you can sleep in my room if you want." <laughs> okay. Um, three additional. I guess I'll okay. Oh, okay. Um, but yes, enjoy, eat. You're welcome to stay as long as possible as you want. You were a host to us in the city for quite some time, so. They will gladly host you as well. Thanks, Dad. Yeah. Um, I had a question. Uh, out of character. When he like walked in, did he have a still bit have a big limp? You can or give me like, walking better. Uh perception check. Why do you have a limp again? Did he get hurt? Yeah, I don't remember either. <laughs> he's just old. Okay. Like oh. he's just aging really fast, like prematurely oh, right, right. Yeah. uh 13 13 uh it was a little hard to tell um you didn't notice anything but uh he didn't spend a lot of time walking around yet he just kind of okay. walked in and came to the table okay Karis, when he gets up and... <laughs> can you get up and walk around please circle yeah okay yeah i think if he gets up she would be watching okay so like, how's how's everyone in the village been? I mean, Are adjusted seen, okay? Yeah, like some of the magics come back a little bit. Uh, we have been working on reconnecting to Alasha and building that connection once again. Awesome. And people, I think, are happy to be back here uh, and back to our home, other than in the city. So, it is a... Have you been talking to Alasha? No, I've never had that sort of connection. I leave that to the ones who are more spiritual than I am. Oh. The reason why you're not? Sorry, I, I don't know if that's too private to ask. I don't mean any disrespect you or anybody else who has a close bond. I just have always been living my life and doing things in different ways, I guess. That makes sense. I'm not mad at you or anything. I mean, I was just living my life too when she showed up as that scary tar-like thing, and then now she's not. I was just thinking, I mean, hopefully she's more at rest now, but through Alash, I was able to kind of feel mom's presence, so just figured if you ever wanted to reach out to her that way, you could. Good to know. Does he seem receptive of that, or is he kind of like, Rrr. like, um, with my insight? Yeah, I mean, so. just with your passive insight, which is massive already. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, yeah, he he just seems more like, okay, son, you can do what you want to do, and I'll. That's nice. <laughs> That's nice. I'll just do my own thing. So. Okay. Cool. 
Okay. Did you see that Val um, and me helped decorate? <laughs> <sighs> yes. Look at that. Do you like um, it? Is that always going to be there? It'll be there for quite some time. It takes a little bit to come out. Sorry. <laughs> it's like, you know, you clean it up and then, like, you just always find it again afterwards for a bit. Well, I guess I'm already kind of used to sand, so. It's very much like sand, yeah. Colorful. Prettier sand. Hey. And. Yeah, non functional. I, I like lean over to Val and I whisper, Does he not like it? She just looks at you. He'll get used to it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So what have you been up to then? Just... Up Just in the village? Working, crafting, as I do. What kind of things do you craft again? I just do general repairs and carpentry. He makes chairs, remember? I just... I just think that's cool. I used to kind of carve little things and sticks and stuff. Maybe you can teach me something sometime when I have more time to stay here. Yes, I'm sure I could show you that. You always seemed interested as a boy. Yeah. That was really cool. What was Ren like as a baby? <laughs> Ren's just like blushing. <laughs> I mean, he was a, like most children, I guess. But I think the pressure that we put on him and kind of his upbringing may have been a bit much for it. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> I was going to say, I probably hit the ran away a lot, I guess. I always used to like to just run into the woods and find away from everything for a bit. There were many days we weren't sure where he went. I'm getting wow. ideas. Please look at Val. <laughs> <sighs> but you're home now. You've fulfilled what you needed to, so. Now you can live your life as you see fit, it seems. Oh, well, hopefully when the threat to the city is gone, I can put down a baton and a shield and come back out here and help you. Yes, the city. Good, good for you to keep an eye on that. And if the city goes down, it will become a huge threat to us too. Yes, makes sense. Can I insight that? Is there a little sure. Roll your resistance to him still helping the city or anything? Uh, I'm on my phone. Uh, 17. Okay. You get maybe a little bit of a sense of he wishes you were here. He understands, at least, that what you're doing is important. Is it like a disappointed... I'm not here, just kind of like, I just wish he was closer, and but he gets that I'm serving a greater good sort of thing. I mean, it's not a disappointed in you type of thing, but there's some sadness there as well. Interesting. So. Yeah, of course. Well, I'm just uh, quiet. I should get back to work. Um, good to see you. I'll see you tonight, I guess. And we can talk more. Oh. We can play a card game. Sure. Actually, am I able to, like, just... I kind of want to walk around the village and just see what how people are doing. Is that something I'm able to do? Or you just want to take off and... Kind of walk yourself around. Yeah, just kind of like, you know, just see see how people are adjusting and see how everyone's doing back in the camp. Okay. 
So I love the cat just knows. Yeah. Skillin, <laughs> Skillin will take off, and you kind of follow after now that lunch is kind of done. Uh, the other two, what are you doing? Uh, I guess it depends. I would kind of poke my head out and see if Ratha's around, but if she's not, um, I would see if. If Val wants to come too, she can, but um, I wanted to see if Rodden wanted to go to the beach since we made him leave early. Okay. And thought we're waiting. Sure. He loves the beach. He loves it. Yeah, Rodden will go with you, and I mean, Val will definitely come as well. Kind of look to Rodden. You coming? Yeah. You coming? Okay. Yeah, of course. Okay. I'll grab, a, I'll grab, like, some fishing poles, and, like, I'm sure they have, like, a way to go ice fishing, so... Yeah, I mean, if, it's, if it's, frozen over, it's not frozen over, because well. it's more of the waves and stuff coming in, it's just cold water, so. I'll just grab some bait and some string and okay. fishing lines and bring with us. Sounds good. So, you all go out to the beach, while Raya will go take a little bit of scouting journey around the camp, so why don't you give me a perception a roll as you... Begin to look around and see what you notice. Eighteen. Eighteen. Okay. Uh, there's definitely some eyes who catch and see you wandering around and just uh, general courtesy, like smiles and waves and acknowledgments. People of your are presence. generally they're generally positive though towards us now. I'm assuming because we're not. Yeah, they're pretty. Like, oh hi, look at them. They're there. Type of thing, and okay. uh, as long as you kind of keep your distance, you not like get up right in their business. They're pretty just like okay. No, I'm, just, I'm just kind of observing. I just want to see how people if they're adjusting okay, and like if everything seems better here than it was when we were here last time. Yeah, I mean, people seem like they're doing all right. Um, it is a colder day, and like we said, cloudier day now. Uh, so it is. It's a little less fun to be outside at this point, but people yeah. are adjusting while it seems. They got some fires going in various places, people working on different parts of them, looking through their windows, and you can see them there yeah. doing things indoors. Uh, seems Nothing really stands out to you as like a concerning thing that you see. Okay. Do they seem like, weird? Do they seem healthier or like more spring in their step, or do they seem about the same? Yeah, I mean, they didn't look unhealthy, I don't think, ever to you. But okay. um, I didn't know if they looked like, um, like as in, like some of the older people looked more, uh, I don't know, like, yeah, springy, I guess. But they looked like younger, they seemed, they seemed not as, like, I don't know. But anyway, I wanted to see basically people are aging backwards at all. <laughs> okay. Um, you don't notice much in that regard. There, There's not a bunch of old people here to begin with um but you do notice a few that are out and doing things just a couple not too many but okay. a couple cool um yeah that's all i just kind of want to look around and just see if i found anything interesting but if there's nothing i'll just kind of join back up with the group okay so the others are out fishing sitting on the beach uh, Robin will just kind of take a seat uh, and just going to look out at the waters. Uh, Run if you'd like to fish, you can if you want. Yeah, miss going fishing. <laughs> so go ahead and I don't know what skill will work best with that. Uh, I'm going to go with. We'll do dexterity. You can use proficiency with it, though. Dex prof. Uh, uh, 19. Nice. Well, lucky number 13 today. <laughs> and Karis, what are you doing? Um, Making sure everybody has fun. Okay. <laughs> so... I'm throwing rocks in the ocean. 
I'm running around with Val. I'm trying to see if Rodin wants to do anything or if he just wants to sit and stare. I can't tell. Yeah, he, he seems like he's pretty good just kind of like sitting and he puts like his feet into under the sand and like gets a really cool sand underneath everything. The really cool stuff. Uh, yeah. It's cold outside, so it's very cold underneath. Really, really cold. Uh, just kind of like puts his hands in and feels it and like kind of piling up some little mounds of sand here and there. But oh, Yeah, can we try to make a sand building? Sand building, yes. Wait, do you know you what can, a castle is? <laughs> you can start working on sand buildings. <laughs> Trying to make it modern. A sand iron fist. <laughs> yeah. Um, and Rodden gets this idea kind of to make like a system of like, top, like a water system. So like dumping some water from a bucket into a, yes. like a basin Mo brings it and just like the water spills out back into the ocean. Yes, it becomes elaborate, mm -hmm. a project. Brennan gives just the slightest of size because all of the activity is scaring away the fish. <laughs> I think he's happy about it either way, so. He's Despite the activity that you still do catch a pretty nice sized fish while you're out there. And, Scare it right into the hut. Uh, yeah. You end up <laughs> reeling in a nice looking fish. Rai, you show up at this time, and you see them all kind of doing their thing, playing around, fishing. Look, Rai, we made a sand buildings uh, and uh, water. How does it actually look? Is it, is it, like, actually nice, or is it, like, kind of, like, bad? <laughs> is it bad? <laughs> Performance. <Yes. It's... laughs> it looks pretty know. nice. I mean, Rodden okay. especially has some good skill with sculpting things with his hands. Uh so he can help out with making sure it looks really good. But it's a team effort. Team effort. It's like it's like Karis makes the giant mound and then she gets bored and moves on to the next one before okay. it gets pretty and, and Rod nice. goes behind and like <laughs> makes it nice. Okay. Am I? Um, I'm gonna try and make my own and just see how it goes. <laughs> I want to know. I want right. to know if I'm okay. <laughs> so why don't you roll? Uh, We'll do dexterity again, just because... Oh, dexterity, okay. Yep. Yeah. And I'm going to give Rod an advantage because of team effort. <laughs> so... I, got, I, got a, I got a one. Oh, no! <laughs> I'm really bad at... I'm, I'm just not good at making sand castles. Oh, no. It's okay, Ryan. Right? It's a different kind of dirt and sand from the city. Right? <laughs> like, I, I, I was tempted to use a luck point and be like, I'm going to roll. <laughs> I'm not going to. I'm going to leave it. Totally All it. right. It might go to waste, but okay. <laughs> actually, actually, wait, we're gonna be chill today, aren't we? As far as we know. I hope so. You really trust Mark. <laughs> it's up to you. I'll, I'll be bad. You I, I seems like she would be. Okay. She's not gonna be very creative. I think she like she tries, but she's not very creative. So yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, so I mean, Rodden's looks really nice. He got a twenty-two with his roll, and all the help from everything. Uh, in yours, you just kind of get the sand that's a little more dry, so it just, like, falls apart. It doesn't have that kind of bit of water to hold it together a little bit more. Uh, at one point, Val kind of looks over at you and just, <laughs> just laughs at you, and you just notice that. I give her, like, a, I give her like a look, like, hmm. And then from there, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try fishing instead and see how I do <laughs> This, what, 30-year-old woman getting shown up by know, a, like, a teenager? <laughs> Like, this I'm might not... be more your alley. Okay, I'm gonna try fishing. Then. Raya, I'll put a shell on yours, and it will be. <laughs> it's a sad pile. Hel of it will help. It. <laughs> okay, it's thank more you. like a mound I'm grave or something like with a yeah. seashell on top. Okay. I wanted it to look like a pile. <laughs> so Raya goes out to run and try some fishing too. You can give me a dex check with that. Let's see if I do better than a I'll one give her this guidance time. guidance by like just helping give her some tips and tricks. Uh, you can have advantage on the roll. Okay, okay. You're that getting some me. help from Ren. He can kind of assist you with things. Um, like a fourteen. Okay. Not bad. So I mean, you have a nice cast that you do with your little bit of lessons and mm. just kind of waiting. Okay, and I don't do, I don't catch anything yet. Not yet. Oh, all right. I want to be good at one thing. <laughs> Unfortunately not. 
Just you have to practice to get good at things. <laughs> I shoot the fish in the ground <laughs> or in the water. Rapa comes walking up to you though, as you're all out on the beach, and um, would you all like to come now for the meeting? Hi, Rapa. Hello. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look what you've all done here. Okay. Do you like it? It looks nice. Thanks. I high five Val and Rodden. <laughs> um, hey, Rafa? Yes. When was the last time you guys tried to go out onto the ocean? That was many years ago. It never goes well. Yes. Is your yeah. compass doing anything out here? I like pick it up. Yep. Sure. Give me a perception check. Or, uh, perception or, or survival? You normally made you survival. This would be like you're looking at it for something. So I'd say perception or investigation for this. Oh, okay. Uh, 19. 19. Ooh. Okay. As you kind of look at it, it looks like it's just spinning. Nothing. It's just spinning. Spinning? Mm-hmm. Just making sure there wasn't anything like out to sea or something. Oh, yeah. I don't think so. At least not here. We can check at the Sun Elves, too. And looking up, how's the crack looking from here in the sky? Oh, yeah. I forgot to check on it. You can give me a perception roll. Right in. It is cloudy. Remember that, so. I probably wouldn't have my shield, but would I? Unless you'd grab it for this purpose. I don't know why you would have your just shield on yeah. ready to go. Can I look too or no? I just wanna Sure. Uh twenty two. Okay. Mine's not worth mentioning. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I I'm just that. rolling I'm rolling stinkers right now, goodness. Sounds good. <laughs> All right. Uh you get a few like glimpses through some of the clouds that are rolled in. It's pretty cloudy. Most of the sky is covered, but there does look like a very noticeable crack that you can see just occasionally, running. And it's there. It's definitely still there. It doesn't look like it's... I guess it's hard to tell if it's expanded from the last time we saw it, right? I'm trying to remember the last time you saw it. Was it... I think it was on the side, wasn't it? When we were with the girl body? Thing. Yeah, we haven't been able to see it in a while, have we? I thought it was like too far away to really, at least in the last. So like hard to see from the city. Yeah. There's like the crack that's coming from this side, and there's the crack kind of from the more southern direction. Yeah. So. So we were over at the Sun Elves a little bit ago with Brother Hibbert when we took Curtis so over. It's right. about the same as that. Okay. Okay. It hasn't really changed. Good enough. But it's just... you can't see all of it. You can just see like. A small portion of it but kind of. yeah the cold wind is blowing in you can see clouds kind of every direction now and Ratha just looking um, are you ready now yeah wonderful uh, kind of you have a bite on your bit. line as well points over to <laughs> like, Tariah Tariah yes <laughs> Me? Oh, can I try to reel it in? Yeah, you reel it in? Yeah. And you got a nice little, like, six-inch fish on there, so. I, I feel better than the sandcastle <laughs> when I have tried to fill the sandcastle. If you have found a secondary calling, right? <laughs> yeah. It's at least, uh, useful. Like, now, <laughs> easier to survive. That's an amazing <laughs> distressor, too. Um, so all of you are coming, or... Yeah. Just looking at everybody who's here. Uh... I don't know. Um... I... Val, do you... do you want to be a part of this? This might not be things you want to hear about. Uh, is this just, like, old people talk? <sighs> yeah, probably. Nope, I'm old going home. Old again? <laughs> She's, what, 15? 
She's 15, yeah. She's close to it. She's 15. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna put my hand on her shoulders and go, you know, you're the future of the tribe. You don't have to pay attention now, and I want you to have fun for a while, but the history and what we've what we've been through is just as important as where we're going. Keep it in mind. You take things way too seriously. I do. Yep, I do. Should have more fun. That's what I'm trying to do. I go and grab her, my pocket again and pretend like I'm grabbing glitter, but I'm going to take that. She just runs off back towards the house. <laughs> Please. Yep, I don't um, think we're ready. As we're walking, I just mom, I was like whispering to Rod and like, okay, so do you remember Jarzagon was sucking the life out of elves like vampire? This old guy, now he remembers stuff, and before he didn't remember it, that's why we're talking to him. Okay, sounds good. <laughs> like not helpful. <laughs> I'll just, I'll just listen. How about that? Okay, if you got questions, ask me. Okay. Um. So with their spell, you feel like you'll probably be able to get this in if you're quick about this meeting. If it takes too long, okay. though, you'll probably run out. Okay. Just with how much afternoon time you spent. Okay. But yeah, Ratha will lead you through the village back towards that more kind of central area where they've kept Rydell. Uh, just keeping him well, his home. And allow you to enter in. There's a couple guards who are stationed there as well. But should be in um leads you into a room where you see seated in a chair. A somewhat old frame of this man. He does look much healthier mentally though, to you. He does look like he's improved. Like he was kind of what muttering to himself before and didn't mm -hmm. really seem like he was making eye contact most of the time, but now he looks up and Acknowledges all of you. Uh, hello. Oh. And it kind of goes and does like whatever the customary like respect to an elder would be, whether it's like bowing or in their hand or something. He'll bow his head a little bit to you in return. So I hear so you have questions for me. We do. Um, I'm glad you're feeling better. It seemed like a few things were affecting you. Do you remember everything that's happened here? You are the, the chosen one, aren't you? Sure. Yep. That's He's me. a special one, yeah. And he'll like slowly kind of like rise to his feet. Rather like almost goes to make sure it doesn't fall, but he'll get up and walk towards you. Be proud of who you are. <laughs> I mean, I, I am proud of who I am, and I'm proud of being a Muno, and what I can do is... It's weird being called a chosen one, that's all. You were given this role, and you embraced it. Why would you have any shame about this not shame I'm proud to be able to help you guys just took me a while to figure out how I don't like fighting I just know it's necessary sometimes you fought for us but... seemed like you did too And what's happening here is happening all around the city and all around us. There's a lot more to it than just what happened here. I'm hoping maybe you have some clues that can help us. I'll go and sit back down in the chair. He, he doesn't seem hurt or malnutrition. He doesn't seem like he needs any healing. He doesn't look like he needs healing. He just looks old. Okay. <laughs> Can't heal, can't heal that. <laughs> I also have 
a spell that seemed to help people's memories. Um, we originally hear people's memories that have been affected. I don't know if they'll do anything for you, but if you wanted me to try, I'd be willing to. I don't know if you'll need it, but it might reveal things. It almost looks like Ratha wants to intervene, but Rydell kind of puts his hand out and, yes, I will accept this. What do you remember arriving here first, though? I kind of want to know what you remember now before I do anything. That's a good idea, Ren. Oh, thanks. <laughs> um, I don't remember exactly how many years ago it was. Based on how old you are now, it seems to be many. But we... Was... I'm sorry, Mark. Was... Ren was born here, right? Or was he a little kid? You were born here. Yeah. Um, our home was being attacked. Some people were attacking our home. Forced us to leave. Who was? They invaded a local village, maybe? Seeking to expand their territory. They came with unexpectedly in the night and attacked humans us. Humans or elves? I believe humans. They came and attacked. We had to flee. Uh, we climbed into our boat to get away with those who we could. We lost many that day. And sailed facing the elements. We were pulled out by a great storm into the sea. Vicious storm. And washed up on the shores here. Seems Oh, sorry, Mark. I don't have my notes involved with the elves. Or what? No. Was there a portal involved with the elves? You don't know of any portal. I thought there was in the in the thing you gave me in the beginning. You said that was part of what we know. Is so you remember seeing like multicolored lightning as like a story, like really gotcha. crazy lightning okay. during the storm. But that's all you remember. I just I didn't I didn't have it in front of me. So okay. Yeah. <laughs> there was like weird. Flashes of lightning that were all like abnormal colored. Okay, but that's just part of the vicious storm, and then we washed up here. Yep. Okay. Cool. All right. And then when you got here, um, you guys met the Sun Elves, right? I mean, weren't weren't we working together for a while? Yes, we did find them here and began to work together. There seemed to be some sort of distant connection we shared or some sort. Our language was similar and we began to work to help each other out as they seem to be from a new place as well. Is that when you met Raz Sundagor? The sun spirit, yes. No. Wait, sorry. Raz is my boy. <laughs> That's the, the one. Yes, Raz. Sorry. I was like, Names. what? Wait, wait. Names. <laughs> sorry. Yes. <For> reveals. <laughs> yes, they met him. Yes, he was an elder. Sorry. Too many names. Too many names to get mixed up. Yeah, I know, right? Yes, we did meet him. He was a elder of the Sun Elves. Could he do lots of magic? I remember him being quite skilled. Okay. That makes sense. What does that make sense? Have you met him? Yeah. 
Uh, yeah. <laughs> you seem much too young. Oh. Uh. Well. Um, it's kind of hard to say a lot of it, because it's real confusing. But. Roz's, um. Spirit is kind of helping me and teaching me magic. He was a real warrior for his people. If anyone would find a way to have their spirit linger on to help somebody, he would be the one. Really? Yes. That's he was cool. a great man. You know he what told. I mean, sorry. sorry. I just wanted to say really fast. He told me to tell you that um, he is glad you're okay and that he missed you. There was a night as we were together where there was an attack. People began to sneak in on many of the others who were sleeping and attempt to kill them. I was able to run away again. We found proof that um, that Lotha had been Lorith. Working. Lorith? Lorith. 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 Helped run that, so it wasn't Saberly or it wasn't the Sun Elves' fault, and the other elders that you worked with. It was a group that well, wanted to divide us and serving this demon. Do you know why, though? Like, he'd want all of them killed? That's what I'm confused about. Most people to question whether he's the actual sun spirit or not. I don't know. Did the elders if, all have? Oh, sorry. If you want to take over a place, but you want to have occupants and ones who can serve you, kill the ones who are old and retrain the ones that are young. Oh. Uh... Did you guys all have connection to the sun and moon spirits? Like, were you able to talk to them before all of this? Or no? Our tribe had a strong connection to the moon. They had a strong connection to the sun. And we've always had a connection in some way to those spirits. Uh, some are more direct. Others are more indirect, but they are central amongst other spirits. So how did the whole prophecy thing happen in the first place? Like, who would know that and why and how did you know, you guys know to seal off that place where Jarzagon was? Let me find my note on that. Uh, one of the other Moon Elf Elders, uh, Sorasana, she served alongside me. She received through her divining a strange prophecy to be crafted on two daggers that she drew out as she was in her trance. She was very specific about the form of them, how they were to be built. And the secret was that they were to unlock a door But did you guys build the door, or was the door already there? We built the door. 
Okay, you just didn't know why you were supposed to build the door? We were not sure, certain. So okay. this person was like heading up that project and didn't really tell you guys what it was for? She did not the understand dream? her prophecy either. Uh, I she see. just communicated what she received. Did who gave did Moon Lady get I mean Alasha give her the vision? She believes that in her efforts to try to connect to Alasha and Grathcore. This was able to be received as they had disappeared from us at that time. Almost a way to help us after the threat started hurting us, right? We realized that there was something wrong, and this was our way of seeking an answer. <clears throat> okay. And this ability to transform into wolves, is that something you guys had before, or only after? He looks a little confused, and um, Rafa just this is recent, as we said. Sorry. I'm not aware of any wolf transformations. It's just a new trend of the young kids. <laughs> I don't understand why. We didn't need to be wolves when we were young. <laughs> wolf transformation. We never needed them. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Sorry about that. I just... I just want to make sure it's not dangerous to you guys. Do you guys have any other questions? Have you ever heard of or seen any sort of like runes on the ground or like anything like that? Have you seen or heard of anything like that? There is a like circle and... that we have that does have some symbols on the ground meant to connect to our uh, spirits. Oh, yeah. The one that we... we. Oh, right. Uh huh. Did they look kind of similar to the runes that we saw from what I remember, or they, were they like very different? I don't think you were aware of it at the time, were you? So. Do we know about oh, yeah. those? I'm trying to remember. When you went in the first time, was that before yeah. or after Jarvis gone? That was before. So. You probably wouldn't have. Like, you can notice. Look them close. But okay. thankfully, you're here and you can look at them very well. Okay, too. I'll just say, I'm like, have they, ever, have they ever had any sort of like magical protection over them or like spells or something to protect them or no? We use them to help amplify our journey to find and speak to spirits. Who, who made those? Do you know? Uh, they have been passed down. We can carve them in wherever we need to. Has anyone ever forgotten about them? I don't... Like, mysteriously, like magically? Like, where they just no. walked away from them and didn't remember? Hmm. Okay. <laughs> and have you, I guess, have you guys had a lot of encounters with demons at all, or have they been a more recent thing? believe we've ever encountered a demon. Okay. There are a lot of them around here now. <laughs> but... When you guys arrived, was that... I don't know if you've ever had any interaction with the city outside of Sun Elves that we did, but did you guys ever see, like, a blue flash in the sky, or... Um, while we were... while we were sailing over, initially, yes. It was a blue flash that, I mean, it was a crazy storm. Yes. Do you remember just oh. waking up, or do you remember anything else about that? Do you remember anything about what? Like, do you guys just wake up on the shore, or do you remember coming into the shore after the storm, after you saw the blue flash? Um, I mean, it was quite a chaotic 
journey it's like a blur almost it's trying to make it through the storm and eventually we made it through and saw the shore and arrived here I have a kind of off topic question that I completely forgot about until <laughs> I recalled um, and I look at Ratha too have you guys had anyone go missing named Flowin, a small elf girl? Oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> I forgot about that. I was like, ah! I saw in my notes. I'm like, oh, I gotta write that down. <laughs> Have Slowly? you guys had anyone like that? Mm hmm. She was like Both small. Like... Shake their heads. No. We met someone in the woods, and it was a girl asking for help, and her name was Flowin. She was a moon elf. Um, we thought it might have been a demon though, disguising itself, because it was very odd and suspicious and it felt like they were trying to entice us into something but we I was just making sure there wasn't an actual girl missing and that it maybe was some sort of guys no one know. that we know and are there do you know if there are other moon elves besides just in your tribe or are they pretty much just here as far as you know I don't know of any that have left besides I didn't okay <clears throat> interesting just had to ask there, there have been many who've died over the years, but I don't know of any who've left, though. Anyone named Flown who's died? Nope. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Uh, this is real random. Um, can you do magic? Can I do magic? Yeah. Uh. I used to be quite skilled in magic. I feel like I need to recover that if I am to be continue. Oh, okay. But maybe these old years are, it's not for me anymore. I've Clearly lost many years, but maybe you do seem better though. Maybe it's time for me to go and be with the spirits, though. Thanks to your work, Mithranon. Do tell my mom hi. <laughs> also, do a lot of good, teaching us the young our traditions. I do not plan on wasting the time I have left. Thank you. But what was done to me has taken a toll on me. Oh, you yes. don't think that you'll get slowly better? No, it works, Karis. Oh, we don't know, do we? Karis. I do not believe it works that way. I believe what is done is done. The way I keep uh. thinking about it is this. Bargazan was taking people's life forces away from them. Whatever they have left, they have left. Oh. I thought it was just all going to come back. It's okay. She looks very disappointed. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> you guys have any other questions though before I mm. ask the spell? No, I was looking. I've been thinking this whole time and no. <laughs> I can't think of anything right now, no. That makes a lot of sense though. Thanks for helping us. Mm -hmm. It kind of connected some things. Are you mentally okay right now? I know that sounds weird. I'm like mentally strong and not tired because the last time I did this to someone, it was very stressful that their memories changed. Not that I think it will here, but if you remember something different or remember people that didn't come with you, it might be very tough. I just want to give you that choice first. 
Like I said, I want to do what I can with the years I have left. I'll take the moon focus and kind of fit my hand and clasp his over it. And take my other hand and kind of put mine on his. And tapping into that connection to Alasha, I'll cast Remove Curse and see if it does anything. All right. That bit of glow emanates from underneath his hand. And you watch as he looks like he's recalling some things. And he opens his eyes. I remember going to bed and then waking up here. You don't remember the boat at all. There's no <gasps> boat. The only thing that seems like it's a real memory is the, the flash. The flash I saw. Do <laughs> you remember any sort of portal? Like anything that the orange thing? Anything that remained even when you woke up that you saw maybe? No. But you guys had boats here, right? Was there just conveniently boats? Like, I went to bed in my, in my bed. I don't remember an attack anymore. As being real. That's... Oh, like not even the attack. But I was in a boat when I woke up. Oh, you woke up in the know. boat. Yes. How did I get here then? What happened? It seems like everyone... Everyone we've done this on has the same type of thing where they just ended yeah. up here. We don't, we don't, nobody seems to know how they actually got here. Everyone used to remember something attacking them with you guys, I guess, humans, and then with the people in the city, they remember demons. But then when we do the thing, they don't actually remember that. They just remember falling asleep in their bed and waking up here. The Sun Elf said they were following a map for treasure. So that might be not real either. Yeah. Seems like it's not real for anyone. Have you noticed the crack in the sky above us? Have you seen it? It has been shown to me, yes. Okay. Have you seen anything like that before? Do you remember anything like that? No. Yeah. What does Do you mean? remember more people... Being, was your village, was there more people in your village than the people that ended up on the boat? Yes. Many, so there's only a few of more. you that came. Okay. Yes. Did you know everyone who came here, as far as you know, from life before, or are they all I believe random? so, yes. Yeah. <laughs> so, someone... Or something brought all of us here. And a lot of things are using us for power, or sustenance, or, or whatever. It's not just the humans. So then now more than ever, we need to band together. Figure out what's happening because it's not just the elves. It's not just the humans in the city. All of us. Something brought all of us here. Whether to protect us or use us. We have to figure that out. There's a concerned look on Rydell's face as you're talking. But Ratha just... We have connected with the Sun Elves. And we'll plan to continue to. Hmm. 
Mm. Yeah, I think we need. I, we had Gwen try to convince Sab to do the mind thingy, Ren. So hopefully she did, and we can see if it matches the same as what Rydal just said. And I know there's elders in the Sun Elf camp, so if we need to go help clear someone else's memories as well. Is that? That's where I got the diamond from. I don't know how elder they are, but... Oh, and okay. even Sabralira is it's like she came over. Yeah, oh, Sab was... Over. Yeah, Sab and my mom both. Were Renan's parents once they came over as well? Yes. Okay. Oh, <laughs> that's awkward. Are you gonna do that to your dad? Maybe. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You don't remember anything else, but so no lightning then, just a flash, no storm. I don't remember lightning. No, but I do remember a flash. Blue flash. It's very vague. Like I was asleep or something, but I do remember a flash. Where were you? Where were? Where was your village from? Oh, flip back in my notes. Give me a moment. just hit me but it's not in character so i'm curious now mm. uh we were from the silver crest woods oh. i feel like i remember that name but i don't know i look at mark's face it's so straight i can't tell <laughs> okay silver, Dude, crest, silver woods. crest woods, woods. Yes, do we have any memory of that? Was it like... Do you know that is? No, I think it's I, me wondering if it's from another campaign, but I might just be paranoid. Yeah. Okay, um, okay. Does, so is it all... Cause, okay, we met a guy, Mr. Rydell, who, who he was an angel guy, and he lived in another place with a bunch of angels. Okay. Okay, so... Where you were, I know you said your whole city was moon elves, but like, was everywhere moon elves, or was it other people's? I mean, there were other races in various places. We just lived as in a the community woods. in the woods. Okay. Did did you guys have phones and stuff? What is a phone? Okay, that's what I wondered, because I know Val didn't know. It's it. You can call people with it when you have power. That looks just like a rock. It's a fancy rock. It doesn't look very fancy to me. <laughs> um, okay, so none of... Okay, okay. Hmm... I don't know what else. I just wondered that. So thanks. <sighs> Thank you, though. I don't think of any other questions, and I don't. I don't want to take up too much of your time. That's all I can think of right now, at least. Is there anything we can do to help you? Continue what you're doing. You seem to be helping. Your people and the Sun Elves and the people of the city, from what I hear. Keep doing that. You got it. You got it, dude. You got it. <laughs> <laughs> I trust in all of you. And he kind of like looks to Ratha and looks to you continue on and preserve our people. Maybe we can even get everybody home. Perhaps. I 
And Ratha just, yeah. is that all you need to speak to him for? He should rest, I think, should rest. if he's not needed anymore. Thank you. That's all, yeah, thank you. Mm-hmm. If you think of anything else that's relevant, that'd be great, but you've done amazing and helped us a lot today. I'll just again nod and bow to you a little bit. Does he seem troubled now, like after yes. all of... Very much so. Yeah. You're right. Is Ratha in trouble? People. <laughs> Ratha seems, I mean, just kind of the mood in the room has changed, so yes, a little troubled. Yeah. She cares. Uh, but she'll just kind of lead you out, I guess. And you're back outside. She'll kind of see you off and close the door behind her. I'm gonna, before I go, I'm gonna ask her, like, can I go look at the circle? I'm not gonna, like, do anything to the stuff there. I just wanna check it out. Is that okay? She looks to one of the guards. They escort her. And one of the guards looks like they're ready to take you. Yeah. I'll look at you guys. Like, do you guys wanna go too? Or you guys can actually read Elvish, so. Or, well. I can. can. (laughs) Yeah, Ross can and Ren can. Uh, sure. We Just, can maybe, maybe think nothing, about maybe. what the heck is going on while we walk over there. Because yes, I don't know. <laughs> I have no clue. <laughs> Ratha rem- remembers tonight. Let me know when you're ready for the ceremony. I can bring you the, the orb. Uh, Ratha, did you say that it would be really, like, it wouldn't be possible for all of us to go there? It may be more difficult to connect if more people go. It is generally meant for one. So even just bring in one more. Two have gone. Okay. Three can, can fail. And. Okay. If it fails, we must wait in a month still. So. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. I mean, it shouldn't be as dangerous as last time. I don't think. Yeah, okay. That's fine, just just Rodden can meet the moon lady, that's cool. He's fine. Rodden will just like smile at you, like a big smirk around his face. <laughs> I already met her before, so, you know, whatever. Well, actually, I was gonna say if you and Rodden wanted to go. I don't know how to get there. (laughs) She'll find you. I think you need to. Thank you. You defended me last time. I figured I could help focus and guide you guys from here and catch you in case anything happens. No, you're Moon Lady's favorite, so I think you need to do it. I don't know. She always says to tell you hi. <laughs> she just gives me hugs. The hugs are better. Anyway, let's go. <laughs> well, next month is dibs for you. Okay. So you're being led. We can teleport back here. Yes, you can't teleport. <laughs> yeah. You're being led out with uh, one of the guards towards the circle, which you are familiar with outside of the area. Again, that kind of cold and gloomy day continues to press on. Um, but you make your way together uh, out to the circle and uh, just being led out there. Uh, but we'll take a break there and pick up with the circle after our break. Uh, and you guys can investigate it a little bit. So, stick around, friends. We are going to take a quick break here. We'll be back shortly. There will be a question of the day on the break screen for you to answer uh, in the chat. Discuss with the others who are here. And just make some friends chill out. Get a snack. Use the bathroom. Let me fill up my water. And we'll, <laughs> uh, we'll be back really soon. So, stick around. <laughs>
Hi everybody, we're back. We've made it back. Uh, and I'll change the song since people thought that was creepy. So. No, I just mentioned. I just hey, said it, it was. I didn't say it a was, name. I, was, I didn't say a name. <laughs> I was. I was waiting for something bad to happen because it felt ominous, and I was like, "Oh, this is visiting the family music. Something's gonna go wrong." That was my thinking on it. It was not a complaint. It was. A, <laughs> I'll change it up. I thought, we were, I, thought you, I thought you were foreshadowing. That's all. Oh, I, I did not plan any songs today. I'm sorry. So. <laughs> What if you were like, well, I don't want to make you comfortable, so you're like, creepy music, and then that was... It was under my ambient section, so I'm sorry if it was creepy. <laughs> Halloween Just a ambient. little bit, yeah. All right. Anyways, we're back. Our party is on the way out to go see the circle that they plan to visit later tonight to help Renan, or Renan and Rodden, or Renan's... Rodden and somebody, who knows what they decide to do honestly, at this point. Uh, or, or all the combinations during the break. So. Yes. yes. <laughs> it's like a Beacon's reality show, though, The Circle. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. But they're going out to The Circle to take a look at that. One of the guards of the Moon Elves is accompanying them and leads you out into the kind of edge of the, the camp. Uh, a little ways away, there is this circle in a clearing that you can begin to investigate. So the, he leads you out there. It's sort of fenced in in the circle, all the way around it. Um, approximately, what is that? About 40 feet or so wide circle. I don't know, I get the feeling he just checked a battle map for that. Because <laughs> I, I pulled up a map last time, so I had it in. Oh, that's fair. Yeah, because I wanted to take yeah, a look at it and describe it the same. Yeah. Like, is that the DM, like, uh, around all the enemies? It's about 40 feet wide. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I, don't I pulled know. up the map from the last time you guys were here. <laughs> so you could take a look at it. So, yeah. The guard kind of just, like, lets you into the fenced in area. And... Your, your, I like look. Your spell's beginning to wear off, too, just so you know. But okay. it's been about two hours. Of time you've spent here. I guess I'm gonna immediately just kind of investigate and see if I can find the runes or like anything on the ground. Sure. So give me an investigation check, Raya. Okay. Oh, much better. Uh, twenty-two. Twenty-two. All right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, they're they're pretty easy to see. They're uh, there's ones kind of at each point of the not really point of the circle, but like there's like the lines. That it can divide it kind of both directions mm -hmm. right and across and then there's like a center line which has uh five little circle things and then there's the two at the other edges that create like a circle shape so a total of seven different spots where there's a little carved in stone on the ground that's out there uh do they look in any oh sorry they do not look like the ones that you've seen with uh Jarzagon. Okay. And um, uh, Boyd. Does it look like an? It could be an evolution of one. Like, the idea came from here, but it was maybe used in a different way. So you're looking for maybe connections in that way. Yep. Yeah, similarities or something. Uh, go ahead and give me a religion check or Arcana check. You can tell me which one you like. Can I do, or is it even worth it? You have, you'd be Arcana, I guess, because you have magic yeah. you can do, so. Okay. I don't need her. I oh, guidance myself? Sure. So, yeah. For you, um, Ryan, it could be Religion or Arcana. Right, it's just Arcana. Let's see if I'm Arcana. Uh, 16. Okay. Seven. Seven. I should help. I then. It's really not anything that looks to be the same in either of your understandings. Um, it, it doesn't make much sense to you, Renan, as you're looking at this. It's very confusing. Um, with Raya's connection to kind of some limited magic, it's mostly illusion and enchantment magic that Raya would have. Mm -hmm. It does not really seem like it connects to you either. Hmm... <laughs> Uh, oh, I was just going to ask Rodden if the, any of those thingies look like 
stuff he learned when he was sure you could take a look running around question rodden will go up and take a look at it as well you can just i have no idea what this is no sorry that's okay i hope so it does um brendan's gonna try to draw this on another page as best as he can okay but i also want to take a moment so brendan's been like trying to map out the city and where we've seen the runes and stuff like that is there any way to correlate you said like these little lines and runes around it to like a map of the city sort of thing or would it not even you're looking at what the circle is here if it matches yeah yeah um like on a grander scale of the map to like pointing to different areas where the runes would be on a map versus like this little place here so with what you have you have two points for what you know three kind of kind of two that we for sure know of but yeah a third guess yeah third one that you're guessing about um it's hard to connect anything at that point yeah he's just using that as a central point for now since the compass did seem to point that's a theory so unfortunately no it doesn't really seem like it just like all connects no it doesn't do that yeah (gasps) i saw something you could do the remove curse thingy on Rodin and see if he remembers a rune. Did I already do that or no? I mean, you did create a restoration oh. on him. Oh, would that do the same thing? Oh, that'd do the same thing, it's, wouldn't it? It's a little more powerful of a spell, I guess, to do something. It did. Like oh, that. so it would do the same thing. Oh, okay. Mm. I swear I did it after. Uh, yeah, Rodin, you don't. So I don't think we told you about this because there's so much to tell you. But basically, whenever we'd kill a really big demon, there would be a rune thingy, and it'd have, like, a force field shieldy thing around it. Oh, no, Mike. <laughs> oh, yeah, I, sh- I, j- I was just showing him in the journal. Okay. Oh, yeah, oh he froze for a second. For a second. second. Yeah, the connection's really bad. It, like, resets every, like, 30 seconds. Oh, no. <laughs> Um, you showed him in the journal, okay. Yeah, and they were runes that I think the demons were garden. And so we've been trying to see what other ones there are, where they are. So I don't know if you saw any. Yeah, he you, takes a look the, at the, the picture that uh, Renan shows him. and I don't remember that, sorry. I don't know if I've ever seen that before. Okay. Hmm. You know, why not? Um, he'll take the moon orb thing again and put his hand on rod and cast remove curse again. You remember now? No. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> because the thing is, Rod, is whenever we'd look at it, we'd walk away and then we'd forget about it. Oh, that's weird. It maybe was real weird. Cabin or something. I, yeah, I don't remember. Okay. Or so you must have never seen it. Or I forgot it. I don't know. I didn't know what you're looking for. There's, there's a lot of forget about still, but it's it's okay. okay. And sometimes they're they're invisible too. They could be right in front of you, and they'll be invisible. Yeah, like, like, that makes it hard to see I don't remember seeing yeah. it. For... Yeah, right in the middle. yeah. I don't know. Mm. We could be standing in front of one wherever we go. Well, that's why we have the compass, right? Because we'll know. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And this compass, um, Rodin, it points to it. it takes a look at it. Not pointing at anything right now. And it just spins. Yep. So does that mean there's no more? No. I think it means we're not close to one. Oh. It only picks up if we're close enough. Do we ever see a point towards Dragazon? Do we never check while we're here? 
I think I pointed towards Jarzagon's place. I think that was the f one of the yeah. first times we used it was around mm -hmm. in this area. So I, I think that's Jarzagon. Like Jarzagon's thing was like this maybe portion yeah. or something. <laughs> I don't know. We definitely have to figure out how to make Sab do that when we go to the Sun Elves. Yeah, so if she remembers, then at least we can see if the stories match up between the Moon and Sun Elves. Same thing with your mom. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I guess. Sure, so we gotta get can your I invest? Mom. Yeah, I mean, we'll get her. We'll do it. We should She's do that fine. soon if you're. Why, why wouldn't you want to do that? Especially now if we know... Well, she's been putting it off. <laughs> been busy! <laughs> yeah, I've been busy, right? I'm being unfair. Oh, here's the thing, Rodden. She is a popsicle in the middle of the woods, so... And she decided she wanted to hang out there so she can stay there while I take care of other stuff and then go save her. Do you think she wants to hang out there? No, I well, don't know. It's just... Did at one point at least, but not now. obviously not uh, being a mom sickle forever. That's not what she wants. Brandon looks so relieved to not be the only one having to push Karis towards certain things and be like, so happy that Rod is here. <laughs> Karis looks extra flustered because she knows Ren has also said the same thing. <laughs> so she's just sitting there with a little like tornado above her head. You know how the the cartoons yeah what if she's just been sitting there for your whole life and she can't do anything i didn't think about what that like she's conscious like, like she, she knows she's aware of everything going on around her but she's just stuck there i don't know because i try to do a thing where i do the little i i talk to someone in their head and I, she didn't say anything back yeah but when you do that i gotta like whisper back to you I don't know. <laughs> we'll have to find no, out, I guess. That's what I want to use this on. Your mom. What? What? The other bead we have. Oh, do you her. think that would help someone when they're a popsicle? Well, I'll try the lesser one first, but yeah, if that doesn't work, then this. Yeah. Okay, we can probably do it at some point. We might need to. If she, she may know a lot of information. Especially if she was right. seeking out answers. You guys have to promise to let me yell at her. Oh, yeah. yeah, of course. Don't oh, yeah. be like, cares. Be nice to her. No. And, like, oh, maybe, like, give her a second to thaw out first, but then, you know. I, would, I wouldn't do it immediately. I'd at least I let her sure put ground to rolls down on this little and negotiation. Eat right something, now. you know. So, like, the way you and Sav yell at each other sort of thing? If she's like Sab, there's no way. Yeah, Sab's my aunt, Rod, and she's mean. You guys like each other now. No, we don't. We got in a horrible fight next time, last time. And you guys were okay after that, weren't you? No, we weren't. I'm still mad at her. Uh oh. <laughs> really hard to keep track of everything. I thought we were going to be best friends, and then she was like, Karis, I'm not your mom, okay? And then she was all mean to me. So now we're bad again. Rodden just looks a little uncomfortable right now. <laughs> anyway, it's a long story. Are we done here? Do we need to get ready for tonight? I'm going to investigate the rest of the whole place just to make sure there's nothing I recognize. Sure. So like just the whole circle for any symbols or anything you recognize? Yeah, anything that seems like maybe it'd be of note. Sure. Worthy of Give me another investigation roll. Please, please. Um, 17. Okay. I mean, yeah, you're looking around. It doesn't look like too much besides this kind of cleared out area. It's, they have little stones with the special stones on top in certain spots. You don't see anything else really here of note. It's pretty simple. Do I notice any of the berries still growing, by the way, out, like, is that still 
a thing, or are they pretty much dead? I don't think you've ever seen the berries here. They were. Oh right, they were. Never mind, they were gone. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's right. That's right. I'm good to find um... one. Yeah, I I'm good then. I just wanted to. Also, wait, I'm gonna I'm gonna be like, hey guys. Also, um, I do think then. Do do we think that that little girl was a demon then or something a demon in disguise if no oh, that her. glowing person i guess so we kept, we kept wanting us to go in the woods further and further and split up and that yeah i don't like that we could always ask around and see if anyone knows of her but if ratha doesn't know and if the old guy doesn't know then i feel like no one would I don't yeah know. this is someone something trying to look like me and sound like me and attract me in i guess could be yeah, it. I guess so. <laughs> yeah. It may not even really know what a moon elf is. It might have just, if it was a demon or something, it might have just, yeah. Rod and kind of shiver. Oh, look at Rodden. Have you heard of anything that can, like, shape shift or anything like that? I mean, I shape shift at that time. <laughs> That's right. You do too. Oh, <gasps> yeah, you did. You remember that? <laughs> yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, I guess anything could then, couldn't it? Could just be magic. Hmm. I mean, people can do that sometimes with magic, I guess. So yeah, I don't know. Mm. Yeah, Lorith did it all the time. That's true. Wait, did we remember she spoke Elvish or was she just speaking common? I don't remember. That was a long time ago. That was a long time ago. I think it was, it was like Elvish. Ago. I thought that's why that was weird. I was like, I thought maybe it was like a dead. I can't remember exactly what I said, but I think it was Elvish. But it's Elvish too. Okay, interesting. Sure it was. All right, just curious. Okay. <laughs> yeah. It was, it was yeah. Elvish because um, Hibbert didn't know what was going on. Yeah. That's or right. Curtis. Mm -hmm. Curtis. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Just curious. So is there anything you want to do before we, like, until tonight? So Ron just like, so this is where you're, I'm going to do this? You still want to? Yeah, I think it's a good thing to do. Thank you for trusting us. Thank you for trusting me. I don't want to be useless. I want to be able to help if I can. You're just being supportive of being here. That's helpful. You know that, right? You don't need powers. Be helpful. Would you say that? I would. If you had to sit on the sidelines and watch everyone else fight the battles you want to fight? If I knew there was a way to get my powers back, I would. That's what I'm doing. But at the same, at the same time, I wouldn't tell anybody else that they're useless for not having them. Yeah, but again, you wouldn't think it, or you would think it for yourself. We're just think... trying to say your personality sparkling as it is. Sorry, we're gonna say something else. No, uh, Rod, and I was just saying. If I had a way to get it back, I would. But I wouldn't think I was useless if I could. That's, that's all I'm saying. Okay. I'm supportive of you doing this. Yeah. That's great. Am I going in alone? Or is... Are you doing this with me? Or somebody else? I'm going with you. Okay. And we'll be your bodyguards. You're really good at it. They saved me last time. Not saying someone's gonna attack, but just in case. Someone's gonna attack? I mean, uh, everybody attacks everything. You know what I'm saying? Like, you just gotta be prepared for it all the time, you know? Yeah, my sister's friend was being like convinced that I was a threat to the people just like Lorith was. So. Oh. He tried to attack us while we were doing this last time, but he's yeah. not here. I don't know where he is, actually. He's dead. Oh, we don't know. Yeah, we definitely... Well, we, we know he's do. dead, but we don't know where his body went. 
We definitely saw his body in the woods. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. The, 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 the slugs made uh, him okay. you walk guys are around. Really reassuring me that this is a good thing to do. No, it's a good idea. It's a good idea. This was the last time. I don't think anybody in the woods is mean right now, Robin. Okay. It could be slug people. Just saying. Just be ready. <sighs> Oh wait! Sure. No, we will be ready. What, Rodden? You got nothing to worry about. I got spells that will blast slugs away. They'll be fine. Can we like go get some food and maybe play cards or something to take my mind off yes. the slug people? Yes. <laughs> I, I like, gave Val slug the people fish, are definitely really? gonna come get you. <laughs> Sorry, what? Oh no. Um, while we're walking back, though, uh, Renan does take uh, Karis's elbow and pulls her just uh, off to the side, just en enough Hi. that no one else could overhear. Hi. Hey. Uh, so, thanks for everything. And I give her a big noogie real quick, like I do with Val. <laughs> so, not to get over serious, but the way you pushed me to... Do what I had to do here. You know, Rodan and I don't have a chance to talk to our mother anymore. You do. I think it's important that we go do that. Mm. Even, if you, even if you hate her, at least you have a chance to hate her. Yeah. Or, I mean, if we're looking just practically, too, she might... We're talking alone. I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm I don't know if we were. Yeah. It's um, like Raya is like stand, like walking in front of us. She just Ryan turns face. around. <laughs> anyway, I'm like I've been listening. I'm just like stealth like, sitting the whole time. Yeah, yeah. Raya's a good funny, passive I, perception. I was, so. Yeah. 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 No, he'd be um, fine if they're listening. He's just making okay. sure Ron didn't want to okay. call him out in front of it. Hey, don't you have a dead mom too? <laughs> no. Um, <laughs> but um, I'm just kidding. Uh. <laughs> Oh, I just, I was being appropriate. I'm like, hey, don't you have a dead mom too, Rodden? Like, oh. <laughs> um, I, I guess I'd just say like, yeah, I, even if you don't want to reconcile with her or decide that she's not worthy of having a relationship, she probably just knows some information that could help us out. So even if you unfreeze her and just let her go about her way, even just practically, you might yeah. be able to use her info. Or just refreeze Get closure. Just <laughs> No, Dad wants her to be okay, so of course I'm gonna do it. It's just I wanted Rodden first because Rodden. Yeah. And then I feel like we have to get this the power up. I mean, don't yeah, we need the exactly. serums first before Mr. Shaw? We go with Mr. Shaw, so. Yeah. So. If Rodden gets his powers, when and Rodden maybe. What? Rodden stay well. If Rodden gets powers. Gwen and Rodden can come with us. Maybe even Savalier. Not Savalier will go, but and she will not go. Stop asking her because you've asked her like four times and she keeps saying no. <laughs> well, if maybe her memory changes, I I don't think that's gonna help. She really does not like my mom. I mean, after reading after reading the journal, you never know. I have a change. Yeah. But. Um, yeah, I mean... Would be cool to go out fighting with Shaw, though. I want to go with Sh Mr. Shaw. I mean, maybe we could bring excited. Rod in, too, if he wants to go, but... I'll figure it out. Okay, I mean, I'm not never gonna do it. Dad wanted me to. I'm gonna obviously give my dad whatever he wants. Because he's the best, so... He is. I spent a lot of spells today. I was thinking about hoping my dad remember as well. Do you think that's a good idea? Or should I wait? I feel a little paranoid that something will come and attack us. Maybe yeah, if maybe wait. Yeah, maybe if um if we're done and it's fine, then you could do it when he's sleeping. Now that'd be creepy. Don't do that. <laughs> I don't want to do that. I mean, he wakes like, up with this like a knowledge blah. What's going on? Where am I? Where am I? Who am I? <laughs> <laughs> and what if he remembers the man man, I think, you know? I don't want I don't want him to be upset. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. 
Okay, Rodin looks like he, he he's by himself. We should go. I got like just like bolt up to Rodin. <laughs> oh, good. Did you see Rodin like look back at you? Like he's been totally aware. You guys were just having this whole conversation the whole time. Because Rodin has a very good passive perception. <laughs> like he heard the whole thing, type of Quite thing. Quite possibly. <laughs> can I insight that? Can I can I tell that Rodin sure. overheard everything? Sure. <laughs> 21. Yeah, he seems like he's well aware of what you guys are talking about. How do you see everything and hear everything, Rodden? It's like it's like you look into my soul, man. Hey, Rodden, if you wanted ever, um, if, if magic didn't work out so well, I could teach you how to, like, shoot stuff and, like, stab things if you want. Okay. You're fast. Sure, maybe. Okay. <laughs> You're fast and you you gotta you know, you hear things. You can sneak real well. Yep. You'll be good at it. Because they're all trying to sell me on everything. It's cool. <laughs> no, no. You. I just said if magic didn't work out, if, yeah, if yeah, you yeah. if it wasn't something that was. You don't need to. Stop. It's your fine. <laughs> Does he seem like overwhelmed or just kind of like? Nah. No, he's just kind of going with things now. Okay. <laughs> He seemed to be warming up a little bit with us, like kind of getting a little bit more comfortable with us. I can give you an insight roll for that. Can I as well? Twenty one for the last one? No. <laughs> no, this is a different thing, so Yeah, okay, eleven. <laughs> okay. Can I, I think you? he loves me. Yeah. Um oh, uh thirty two. Thirty two, okay. Um, you definitely feel like he's feeling pretty close to Karis. Okay. Lesser so Neutral. to both of you two, but mm -hmm. he he's okay with you. Okay. Pretty, pretty neutral on us, but feeling... Okay. Yeah, that's okay. better, though. That's better than... Better than, than hostile. Work, so, yeah. yeah. Making progress. He's I'm not hostile that. to you, at least. Okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You head back into the village. I'm guessing you're just gonna go chill at your dad's place until the circle time. We make the fish mm -hmm. linen pot. Super spicy. Okay. All the spices. And if Ron brought his. Sorry. Is Rai gonna make her fish less spicy then or something? <laughs> no, I'm gonna. I'm. Well, I don't know if I can cook. I'm not sure if I can. I'll try. <laughs> Rai <Ryan laughs> has <a laughs> existential. Can I cook? <laughs> Can I, I do anything? Know. We'll have a cook off well, like... here in the. Okay. <laughs> this. Uh, okay. I'll let the chat decide what they think is the related uh, ability score that would go with For cooking. cooking. So. Like dexterity. Um, so whatever, whatever, whatever the chat says is the skill or the ability score that's based off of cooking. I'll pick that one. But uh, you guys arrive back at the house, uh, and you do find Val there again. She's just hanging out some more. She looks like she was tidying up a little bit, re redistributing some glitter here and there. Um, <laughs> and... <laughs> just like, I don't like it on this table. I'm going to put it on the counter over here. Just like, <laughs> like spread it out evenly so it's not like clumps anywhere, you know, making sure it's even. 100% something Karis has been doing this whole time, too. <laughs> so good. But, uh... She's back there, and she just bounces over to you all as you come in, and <laughs> unfortunately, you can't understand her. Uh, Except for Ren. Just Ren. Yeah. I'll translate. Okay. Idea, though. Tell Val. Rodden, did you bring your things? The games? Uh, Rodden does have a, a couple packs of cards he brought with him. Because if you want, we could we could use it, and Ren could tell Val how to play, and then we could all just play, and then we don't have to, like, you know. I don't have to do a, a four billion spells. Okay. So the three of you, I guess, will sit down and play cards. And Whoever else wants to. The other two are going to go cook. <laughs> As I'm translating. And you're translating from the kitchen, it's which isn't chaos. too far away, but you're just, like, shouting in the instructions. Oh, he, he said ace is low, Val. <laughs> Um, so, it looks like survival is the skill that has been chosen for cooking. 
So, Great. we're going to roll a survival check between the two of you for your fish cooking skills. All right. Oh, fish sir. cook off! All right, dice gods, be kind to me. I right. got face! They were not kind we, to me. We might have two burnt fish tonight. <laughs> so. Aww. You have luck there over there, <laughs> Yeah, actually, I, I'm, I'm going to use a luck point. I'm going to use a luck actually, point. I feel, I feel like I can't stink at everything. Okay. I'm using a sorcerer point because oh, okay. <laughs> I failed That's better. an ability check. Okay. A dirty 20 is much better than a 5. <laughs> so I went from 5 to dirty 20. Okay. Because 5 would be like inedible. I wouldn't be like, well, I can't be bad at everything, guys. I had to be good at something. And then I went from a 6 to an 18. <laughs> okay. Hey! You're at some bad food. Now, it's, now we're getting some yep. I'm good. Yeah, we, there's like halfway through where Red is just like, I always screwed up. And then it's like, <laughs> <laughs> Uh oh, get it out, get it out. Okay, we'll do shredded tacos. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, Wait, who wins the cards? I want to roll something. Okay, sure. Uh, roll 3d6. 3d6? Tell me your numbers. Two, one, six. All right. So, you play some good card games here and there. Ron does seem to be the one who wins most of them. Dang it. Val looks like she doesn't quite understand everything about the game still and doesn't play it perfectly. You win a couple hands here and there, but Ron wins the vast majority of them. Okay. It's all right. It's your birthday. You're supposed to win. But dinner's ready. The fish is pretty good. Pretty good for both of them. Um, does look like Val has eaten more of Raya's fish, actually. Uh, <laughs> and <laughs> Skillen, Skillen comes home, too, for some dinner. And also, uh, he'll eat both of them. He won't be too picky. So, <laughs> But... The evening continues to roll, and you got the nice warm fire to keep you warm as the sun is setting. And just, you see Rod, and especially you, Raya, you kind of just notice him just, like, looking around nervously. Uh, the cards did some distracting, but now it's getting closer. He's getting a little less uh, able to occupy his mind with something else. Um... I, I mean, if you want me to roll, um, you can. I can to notice that as well. I but gonna... I, oh, never mind. Go I ahead. was, I was gonna, I was gonna literally like nudge Karis and like kind of like when he's not looking, I was gonna kind of be like, just kind of point to Rodden and be like, and just kind of whisper like he's, yeah, <laughs> yeah, be like, he just I don't know, he looks nervous, maybe some pep talk or something. Give me a stealth or sleight of hand check. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oof, he's gonna he's gonna pick up on it. I'm gonna do mm -hmm. stealth, please. Um, <laughs> oh, actually, hold on. I rolled. Okay. I think it I would be sleight of hand, hand, honestly, because of like your pointing stuff. So. Okay. You're not being sneaky. Um, you're that... you're doing like hidden movements okay. with your hand. So. In that case, um, dirty twenty again. All right. Not, he probably won't hire me though. <laughs> he definitely. He doesn't knows. roll. His his past perception is higher than that, and he can. Okay, yeah, no, no. <laughs> senses in on that, so. Well, you just, to, like look. You see him kind of like look over at you, just, like you're pointing over. And you're like, oh crap. Yeah. <laughs> but, I'll, I'll do like this, like a, uh, um, yeah. <laughs> gonna try to play it off. She's like, I'm, I'm fine, guys. It's okay. <laughs> Give him a thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I will run over and like do the thing I would always do where I'd link my arm in his and be like, let's go on a walk! And i just drag him out the door. <laughs> okay. Unless he doesn't want to, but... Sure, when are we doing this? Uh, <laughs> just like he gets pulled out. <laughs> um, What are you two doing then? Who's left? Um, I'll just probably clean up and everything and just okay. start like, helping with whatever's needed. Because I'm not... I, I guess, am I... Are we all... I know that only people can like go into the, you know, the moon lady or whatever. But we are all we're all going to go to the circle, right? Um, I believe you said you were all going. Yeah. I'm sorry to sneeze. Um. Okay. Yeah. I'm just going to get my stuff ready to like fight if I need to. But 
Uh, and Renan? Since uh, Karis pulled Rodden out, I'm just going to be like, Val, go help Brett. Uh, I'm just going to shove her away. And then <laughs> follow after uh, and dad. And just, I'll probably go up to him. Hey, um, so we found out some things today that I think people's memory that first came here is a little different and might change how you remember coming here. We have a way to help that if, if you want it. Like, remember things differently. What do you mean people have different memories? That's like they forgot or their old age is... Like something changed it. Something? Or someone. Someone. Who? That's the question. I think it's some demon or... I don't know. I'm wondering if we hear from enough people if we'll find some clues. I was also wondering if... Mom. I just wanted to give you that. If you want to, you can whatever you can do. You know, I found sometimes ignorance is bliss. you want it? Or would you rather just live how you are now and accept what happened? I'll leave that up to you if you think it's worth it or if I should remain in the dark. I don't think it's ever worth it to stay in the dark. Then go ahead. Just put out my orb again and just kind of wait for him to grab his hand. Reach his hand up. He said there was a box that had stuff for his mom in it, right? Yep. It's kind of tucked away. He's gonna walk him over to that and grab something of his mom. And then cast Remove Curse. Fourth level. Same kind of thing happens where the light emanates from it. And you see him almost like realizing things are different now. There wasn't an attack, was there? What brought us here? I don't know. What took us away from our home? I think it's a demon. Was it the one you killed? I don't think so. I, I don't think so. There's something keeping us here. There's something weird going on. Even an angel came here to help protect everything, but I don't know if he got tricked or if he's in on this too, but We all said we're from the Silver Crest Woods. Do you remember that? Yes, I remember the home. What was it like? I mean, it had years of history. That was a home for generations. That's what we tried to rebuild here. I 
kind of thought, I guess my mission here for the elves was finished, but starting to wonder if I need to help you guys get home. This isn't our home. It's not. I don't think this is any of our homes. You keep doing what you need to do. And when you're done, hopefully then you can come home. I need you in the meanwhile to teach everybody what we know about home. Abroad. I mean, we have done that. I don't remember. We haven't lost traditions. I was just still remembering the path of home and that this isn't home. Important. Well, I think most have given up hope on ever returning. That's why I want to bring it back. You can help us do that. I feel like you've, like you haven't had a mission in a long time. Something to do. You know, meaning. I will do what I can, but I'm no. inspiration to people. I'm just a simple carpenter. Not true. Inspire me. Would have given up a long time ago. He raised Val up to be scary, but quite strong person. I think that's what people forget is that you don't need powers and you don't need to be some chosen one or whatever to make a difference just pulling people together making tomorrow better than today i think is way better than anything i can do just don't give up like i said it's better living in the light than Living up in the darkness. I think I'll keep investing in Val and you. <clears throat> Sorry if that brings any stress, but felt you deserve to know the truth. Yes. And it gives a big hug. Yeah, he'll give you a hug. Like... <laughs> um, while that's happening, Rai, you're in the kitchen with Val, and <laughs> she just kind of looks up to you and she looks like she's trying to say something but you can't understand it but oh she just like uh realizes you don't understand mm -hmm. and goes and points to the fish you made and then she holds up her hand mm -hmm. for a high five oh i'm like <laughs> i give her a high five back i'm very excited about this <laughs> yeah yeah she just Suck looks it, like, she's... like i finally did something <laughs> yay i'm actually good at something Sand cackles, castles, I'll <laughs> kick him down. <laughs> I can make things. Uh, <laughs> Karis, you're out with Rod and just walking around in the darkness of now it's the sun setting, the coolness of the night. 
Okay. Um, yeah. I'll see how this goes. Uh, yeah, what, what you nervous about? It's bug people. Or something else bad Oh, happening. bug people? <laughs> Sorry. I don't know. So, I don't know what's gonna happen. This is weird. This is all new to me. Yeah, is it like... Is it like the stuff you remember with fighting and stuff is so blurry, so it feels like the other things, like the stuff now is super brand new? I just... I don't know how to be free of everything, I guess. The memories of what I've participated in. The deal I made, the, all those things. Like they're still in my head. And I mean, to think about making another deal, I mean, hopefully it's good this of Lasha can help me help people rather than do more things like that. It's just, I don't know. It's a spirit walk. I mean, what, what is any of this? Yeah. Um, well, first of all, do you, do you remember a lot? I, we didn't really press you the other day because I didn't want to overwhelm you. And if you don't want to talk about it, you don't have to, but... Yes, I remember a lot of what happened. I mean, is there anything that's made... Not everything, but a lot of things. Um... Is there a few things that stick out the most that's, like, making you upset? like coming in and having Samo die and like how many people died every time we came in to try to attack Illuminance and I don't know like I, I'm more worried about things I don't remember doing like that circle, he wanted me to make that, like, every day. Because he said eventually it would be something that would stay there forever. If I kept doing it. Oh. So we could go between places. So it's like you're scared of what you might have done to help his plans. Yeah, I don't, don't know remember. what I've done. And I don't know who I've hurt. I mean, there's a lot of people there. There's a lot of people who Sometimes it felt like they were all expendable to try to get to Illuminance. Yeah. That's kind of how I think Colin made you all, all think, and me at one point, too. Yeah. But I want to help people now. So hopefully this works. Yeah. Nothing bad happens. No slug hey. people, monsters. Hey, but if something bad does happen, guess what? You're here. Yeah, and we'll we'll do it. We'll handle it. 
I mean, I don't think something bad will happen, but... No, if... If I have to trust somebody, it's you. That's what I trust. Yeah. And I trust you. And I... Didn't know when to tell you this, but I'm just gonna tell you now. Like, I think even if it takes you a long time to figure out like what's going on and how you feel about things or what you remember or any of that. Like, I've got your back, okay? It's okay if it takes a long time. Yeah. Whatever happens, J2, I got your back too. Thanks. I like, even though a bunch of bad things happened, I kind of like right now that it feels like we can both protect each other equally, you know? Yeah. Before it was like, I didn't know what to do at all, and then you were just going to be a fighter, and that was it, you know? You hear a whistle from a little ways away. You look over and you see Ratha. Looks like she's motioning for you and Rod. Okay. Okay. So, just real quick. Moon Lady's awesome. I promise. I've never seen her do anything bad or weird. Okay. She's amazing. Okay. So you'll love her. Okay. And you got this! I want to hear you say you got this! I got this. Does it sound like he means it? <laughs> yeah. It okay. Does. He doesn't have to yell it. I feel like he's not the yelling type. <laughs> okay. Cool! Alright, let's go! Alright. So you walk over. Uh, Batha just kind of holds the orb in her hands. Kind of looking for direction on what to do. Oh, hold on. <laughs> and I say it in English, common. And I, like, just poke my head and looking around for Ren. Ren, 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 Ren. <laughs> Ren, you're in the house and you hear that. I think we're ready. Um, we'll be back in a little bit. We're ready! <laughs> you can hear, like, echoing. Do you guys want to watch? I don't know what it looks like, but we're going to try and talk to Alasha. Your dad does not seem interested in that at all. Val. Val. Just kinda... oh. You want me there? I, yeah, I, I look at Ren and be like, I don't know if I'm, am I there or no. Yeah, you're in the house with him. Wait, I'm just going to be like, oh, if it gets dangerous, I don't know. Should we... Hey, Val. You want to protect Karis? If anything does happen, you run home, okay? Doesn't and someone tries to attack you. Yeah, but things might get dangerous. I don't think they will. Okay. Stay near us, okay? So, Ratha kind of meets you at the door. Hands you the orb, Ren. Oh, okay. Do your thing. And she'll turn and walk away. Okay. Thank you, Ada. The cool ass. Don't Love break you. it. I need it back when you're done. Right now, do. <laughs> Val's standing very tall as you see her come up marching out with uh, Ryan. Oh. Ryan. Is Val coming? Yeah. She's gonna come along. Okay, so bodyguard for the three of you. Got it. Yep. <laughs> I could say this in common, <laughs> and I know she won't be insulted. She's not. She has no idea. But... Yeah. <laughs> All right. 
You guys heading out to the circle then? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, again, just like you look up and there's no moon above you. The clouds are all rolled in. Um, it's dark out, very chilly. There's some wind blowing. It's just weird feeling without like the like you're going to a moon circle to do a moon like ritual and there's no moon and but you you start heading out that direction and you uh approach go into the gated area Val looks very proud to be here just kind of looking around like she's on guard Give her a little fist bump with the her paw. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna cast tongues on just myself this time. Okay. Um, just so there's some communication if needed. Sure. Since Ren will be not conscious. Sounds good. Well, Ren, like, thank goodness I can talk to somebody. <laughs> oh, I know. It's uh, it's been torture for me too, Val. <laughs> Oh, if you guys would learn other languages or how to read, it'd be much easier. <laughs> We're too busy for that. All right. Uh, Rod, are you ready? He just, yeah, let's do this. I'm gonna kneel there and put like the orb in the middle of the circle. Get to the other side. Yep, so you both are, come to the center of the circle. Place it between the both of you. Ron's just like, oh, what do I do? I want you to know. <laughs> I didn't know what I was doing before either. All of this that I've had to do. A lot of times I wasn't others hurt to protect them. Even got old hacker people, tribe, died because I died. But it doesn't it doesn't stop us continuing to push forward. What you're doing here is the bravest thing I've seen. Because we have a past that we want to run from. That past is what helps keep us focused on going right, continuing to be better. Lalasha talk. Be the shield in the darkness. Be the light for those that need it. I needed it. Not from me. It's because I want to. Who do you? I don't know if Alash is the right one to help. I just know I'm here. Those are here. I hope you find your path. Give me a persuasion roll. Persuasion. That was a nice little pep talk, too. Uh, dirty 20. Okay. You just... Let's do this. Oh, my... my hands on your out. Uh, <laughs> put your hands on it, I guess. Just put my hands on, that's it. Think about what you want. Oh. Becoming that light in people. I'll guide us to a lash. Okay. Reach out his hands and put it on the orb. Kind of next to yours. 
Say hi to Moon Lady for me. You see Redner about to cast something. Like, okay, let me start that one over. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Uh, Renan is going to cast Moonbeam. Mm-hmm. Creates a um, beam of on us. Like near Even though we're just for a second. But he's using that as a focus to, to pray. Become a first act. Okay. So you begin to focus us in, cast that spell to kind of activate this and above you you watch as this beam of light begins to glow as the clouds separate in that one spot showing the moon directly above it and this beam coming down into the orb and glowing as you both kind of close your eyes to get into this trance or whatever all of the rune stones that are on the ground all seven of them begin to glow that bluish color and you watch, or the others watch, I guess, as they go into this sort of meditative state, trance state, whatever, and begin to spirit walk, whatever. You hear Val just like, whoa. It's just like, <laughs> so cool, it's right? It's really weird and crazy. Uh, but they begin to drop in to that moon wall. Suddenly, though, there is some shadows that Karis and Raya, you begin to notice, flying in towards the two in the center. You watch as one enters into Rodden. Another one begins to approach, enters into Rodden. Another I mean, shadow. Can, can I, like, try and stop this as it's think, happening? What would you like to do? I, do I see it? You see do it Do I see it yeah. flying enough? Um, can I just, like, blast it with something? Like, before it hits him? Which, what would you like to use to blast it? Um... I guess it depends on what angle I'm at and where he's at. You're kind of standing on the outside of the circle, looking in, <laughs> mm-hmm. and they're just in the center of the circle. And these are just zooming in at them. Okay. Uh, can I just use like, a I? firebolt or something? Yeah, let's say, are we like... Firebolt, okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Um... Yeah, I'll cast a Chaos Bolt second level at it first sure. and see what happens. Both of you roll the hit. Does the Moonbeam do anything to him? Uh, no, because I more made that a flavor thing for... Sure. Thing. Like a five foot on the orb, not a like, mess. It's not thing. hurting you, basically, so... <gasps> oh, <gasps> not 20! Oh, nice. 19 to hit. I don't know if that hits. 19 to hit uh, does hit. So you blast, uh, you blast. We'll roll damage in just a second. Let me know in a second. But um, sure. yeah, you watch as one enter, two enter. There's a couple more that are coming, and you hit two of them. But two more enter into Rodden as you see more begin to r- come in as you blast these two. Can I say something as well? I I don't I know I, I doubt Ren and them notice anything at least here. But as soon as we were in it, Ren did want to cast. Watcher's will. We'll get to that in a moment here. As we're going to roll initiative. Uh, okay. Do we get initiative for what we just did? Uh, mm-hmm. This will be just sort of a reaction round, and then we'll go into the real thing. Okay, gotcha. Okay. So, let me grab all of these cards. And we're going to do some initiative rolls. I gotta change up the music. This is way too chill, and happy, and chill. Need some combat music. Um, I don't know what's a good one because I don't want a weird one. You know. Make it weird. Sure. This is. 
pretty upbeat, but it's not creepy zombies, you know? Yeah. Eh, yes or no? What do you think? I mean, I think it's fun. I don't know how uh, scary this combat's supposed to be. You know? I don't know. Oh, yeah. That's not good, either. Look at this one. Would you like me to sing something over there? <laughs> 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 That's how you do it all the time. Hopefully this one's good. <laughs> this one's called Threatened, so it's hopefully a good one. Okay. That's about right. That's how I'm feeling. All right, Ryan, what's your initiative roll? Oh, I'm sorry. Um, it is. How are you saving that? Um, fifteen. Fifteen. All right, Karis, what's your initiative roll? Uh, thirteen. All right, Renan, what's yours? Twenty-one. Twenty-one. E nice. Normally doesn't roll that well, but. Uh... Sorry if any background noise comes. You're good. My hotel neighbor has their TV on. Wow. It's pretty loud. That it's is okay. very loud. <laughs> I had to like up my the, the volume thing. I've never understood how someone can watch TV that loud. I, I've never been able. Well, I don't either. A AC units in here are like really loud too. I've had to have that makes sense. Really loud. What's your hear. dex running? One. All right. Good. Yeah, 13. Alrighty. I do feel very threatened at this music. Good. <laughs> it did what it was supposed to do. It did. <clears throat> okay. So, let's drop over to our battle map. Here? Uh, <laughs> I'm crying. I'm no. No, please. Put tokens on here. What? I just had the map up anyway, guys. I'm trying to make it <laughs> match. Last time, I'm like, we know. We know what you're doing. <laughs> we know what's going to come. Good job. <laughs> you're not tricking any of us. <laughs> I'm paranoid all the time. You can't trick me. <laughs> and then we got. Yeah. I don't like it. Renan and Rodden. That's the wrong Rodden. Why is it loading that color? That piece. Hmm. No, I don't want to. I was spinning again. I don't want to spin. <laughs> I don't know how to do that. It's it your up. talent to just constantly spin. <laughs> Woo! She's feeling excited. Okay. Yeah. So I'm not going to be able to bring up Foundry or the stream because of my. Oh, oh, okay. That makes sense. I just have to tell me. I will do my best to describe it for you. As... Or actually, if one of you guys can like screenshot the map, it's not your turn. And it's in the Discord, and at least we can see kind of where things You are. might be looking at a different map anyway, because you're not with us. For some reason. You know? It's not in the Twitch stream, I don't know. That's a good point. But yeah, maybe on the Twitch stream. Well, we might have to be. do an old Rodden token, because apparently he doesn't want to update it for me, so. <laughs> That's fine. All right, other screen. Let's go. And this zoom out. Turn this on with our moon circle here. All right. So 
as this is happening, these forms, these shadowy forms are flying into Rodden and entering into him. Everyone sees these. You guys are taking your shots. Go ahead and roll your damage for each of you, what you've got for your shots. I already did that, sorry. I, I got That's confused fine. as what we were doing. Um, I got 17, 17. 17 fire damage? Yeah. All right. Uh. So this one it would be flying in and you hit this one. This one's flying in and you hit this one. Who cares? Um, so 17? Yeah. <clears throat> Chris, what'd you get? Uh, 33 psychic. 33 psychic, okay. Nice. Very nice. Thank you, Nat 20. All right. So yeah, you look like you hit yours really hard, Karis. Raya looks like this shadowy form uh, doesn't fully take the fire damage. But as this is happening, on the, sh the spirit plane, we look over and we see uh, Renan with the wrong token of Rodden because it apparently doesn't want to load for me. You guys begin to... How's Val, by the way? Is she... Val is in... Right by... Uh... Karis and Raya. She doesn't have like a ranged attack or anything like that. She does not. So, um, so you guys, uh, you walk through kind of this portally thing, and you will begin to make your way almost towards like a stone gateway that would lead you into this forest, but you're caught here. Like, something caught you. This is usually just instantaneous. Like, you go from one spot to the next in, like, a, a moment. But you feel yourself get, like, caught here. And standing before you is this large, shadowy form. Big wings. Looks like a pure shadow. And then four other shadows flanking behind and are on both sides of each of you. This big, demonic-looking shadow just looks at you, Renan. He's mine! And uh, you watch as he oh, no. will uh, fly in towards you a little bit. Um, one thing to note about this... Mm -hmm. The only equipment you currently have on you is your blade and your moon orb. All right, it refreshed. The only equipment I have what? The only blade or the only weapon you have is your your katana and your moon orb. Those are the only two items you have on you. Otherwise, you're like a spirit form type thing. So no armor whatsoever. No currently, shield. No armor shield. You are very vulnerable in your spirit form. <laughs> I don't like this. I don't like this. All right. So. First attack. No amulet of health? You still have that, like, on your person. So it counts towards okay. your total HP. But, like, it's not okay, visible around your one. neck. No. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay. I'm saying that's a big, that's a big deal. <laughs> no, for sure. Uh... So, first attack is a 16 to hit. Uh, to me. To you, yes. So, basically just your decks. Uh, yeah. So, this hand reaches out and slashes into you for... 16 points of psychic damage to you. And the second one 
uh, is a 14 to hit. Field. Bring up this moon barrier for between the second attack, blocking it from hitting you. And you see this like, form just kind of floating out there, just glaring angry eyes at you. All right. That is its turn. Renan, you're up next. Okay. Um, was not it. Uh, so there's four of these things flanking each side of you and one big one right in front of you. Oh. Um. All right. He's going. To... He's gonna go back to back with um, with Rodden, and just turn towards. Uh, says no, he's free. Do whatever he wants. I'll never bring you ever again. He's gonna cast um, Watchers. Or I... he'll, he'll use the channel divinity, but not Watchers. Will he'll change it to do or the extra planer? <laughs> or actually. It's, it's, sorry, it's theater of the mind. How close am I to all these creatures? Are they all within 30 feet? Uh, all of them are within 30 feet of you, yes. Okay. And yeah, I'm going to do that. Let's do a wisdom saving throw. If not, they'll be turned by me and frightened. To stay, they'd have to dash out of the 30 feet closer. So what is this? Wisdom saves from... Uh, Channel Divinity. Okay. And it gets rid of which types of creatures? Cool. After the extra plane, I'm on my phone. And that might be quicker for me to look up your character sheet. Let me just look. Probably. Uh, Adoration, Celestial, Elemental, Fate, or Fiend. Okay. Sounds good. So. Wisdom saves. Uh, first one, 20. Second one is 14. Kills. Third nice. one is a 9. Kills. Fourth one, 17. That is my third DC. And the next one is 20 also. Chew out of there, though. <laughs> yeah. And then... With his bonus action, he's going to quicken spell for the first time, um, focusing on protecting him. Healed. Uh, a <laughs> holding the, the focus uh, suddenly, he's going to the his runes show up on his, all his skin. This time, all the rune energy begins to go down his arm and focus into the fo into the moon focus, and a field of fire nice. begins to erupt. Nice. We'll cast fire shield is again. Fire shield? You quicken that one? Yeah, quicken it. Okay, cool. Alright, sounds good. Anything else? And he'll do um, a chill one. So whatever they get cold damage. Okay. Warm down. Yeah, the warm one. Okay. Uh, and then he's just kind of staying to the back of Rodden to give him. All right. You want to like step in between even him and this giant shadow yeah. form? Okay. Sounds good. All right. Rodden's up next. He kind of stands there in just like the spirit form behind you. Uh, 
very unsure what to even do. He's got no weapon on him. He's got nothing. So he just stays behind you, kind of just looking uh, for anything. Uh, he'll take the dodge action this round. And I don't think he can do anything else. So that's his turn. Uh, Raya, you're up as these shadowy forms are now threatening Rodden in the, Redden in the middle of this circle. Okay. You see two of them kind of already in. There's others that you begin to see moving in from the shadows of the trees. Like they were lying in wait. Oh, grody. <clears throat> um, I'm just going to shoot the one in front of, um, in front of me, please. Go for it. Um, and actually, I'd like to study aim, please, because I feel like All right. a sneak attack. Go for it. Have to worry about it. All right. Okay. I'll take the better one. Um, 24 to hit. Yeah, that hits. Okay. Kill, kill, kill. Wait, how many? Hold on. I forgot. How many sneak attacks do I get? All of them. Maybe at seven now? Seven, yeah. Okay, cool. Thirty-four damage. Thirty-four damage. That's a lot of damage. Mm -hmm. That's beautiful. Thanks. Uh, it's Thanks. radiant so you damage. Right? I had to add up. Yeah. So hopefully, right. what does it? Does it look like it hits them like fully? This damage, since I noticed the fire damage didn't hit them, does the radiant? Yeah, I mean, you take like your it's... you take your aim, focus in, mm -hmm. and fire, and just <laughs> this thing is gone with your oh, shot. Yeah. Just and <laughs> mist kind of not... floats away. And really, I don't know if this would be an action to like notice this. When we saw the figures or whatever going into, if they went into Rodden, like they were going into the spirit realm, or does it look like they're? They entered like... into him. It looked like. Okay. All right. Never mind. That's all. Okay. I'm done. Can't do anything else. Karis, you're up. Okay. Uh, do I? S I see more. Too. You do see more approaching in the tree line. Oh, right. Okay, hold on. Let me do some counting. Oh, wait, I, there's a little ruler here. That seems like that would be better. Use the ruler. It's not even... Oh, my gosh. <laughs> do you see me? I see you struggling, yes. Just not doing this at all? <laughs> yes. Okay, okay, okay. Um, yeah, so I go... Um, I'll say... I'll say to Val, stay either next to me or Raya, okay? Um, probably Raya, I don't know. <laughs> and then <laughs> I, I don't will, know. <laughs> will go right here. Actually, I'll go right here. Um, okay. And I will do Sunbeam, um, a straight line hitting both of these friends. Okay. Hitting your friends? So, what? your line this whole is time? from you this way? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. That's what I was trying to do, yeah. Sure. Alright. So, you probably would need to go here. But yeah, that works. Yeah, you can move me wherever right you Right there would be the better. line. But yeah. Sure. You that fire works. off from your hand there. Uh, what save? Is it deck save? It is a con save, I believe. I keep clicking on the wrong spells. Um, Yeah, con save. Alright. Uh, that one is a 15. Fail. That one is a 20. Okay, pass. So, the one that failed is blinded. All right. I'm using a sorcery point to reroll some. Okay. Like got all twos. Ah ha ha! That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Ooh, someone's excited. Four eights in here, buddy. Oh man. Oh. No. Okay. I'm gonna use a sorcery point to make you reroll. Just kidding. <laughs> what? Okay. Um. Now I need a calculator. 
because I'm bad at math. Uh oh. When it's big numbers, you know. Should have stuck with the twos. Eight plus eight plus eight plus eight. Okay. Um. Thirty-eight. Thirty-eight. And what type is it? Radiant damage. Thirty-eight radiant. There's suddenly, like, a glow of sunlight all around me. Yeah, you blast out this energy, and it just rips through both of them. They're pff, gone. Good. You want to try this? Go home! All right. <laughs> I yell. Uh, with my bonus action, I will summon Roz. Okay. Um, and I'll have him next to Roddy. Next to Roddy. Just in case anyone gets any ideas gets close to him, maybe he can swipe at them. Maybe, like, behind Val, close to Raya? Oh, I meant I meant next to Rodden. Oh, next to Rodden, okay. Yeah, I like to swipe at anybody. Sure, sure, sure. sure. Um, for now, yeah. And if it looks like they're going after Val, like, I might change tactics, but for now it looks like they're really focused on Rodden, so... Okay. Sounds good. He will That's go before Raya in the next round. All right, Val just immediately begins to cower because she's oh, not expecting baby. this. No, she wasn't. Uh, she was definitely not expecting this. Um, I guess I'll have her take the dodge action as well. There you go. Uh, demon stuff begins to fly in. Uh, what's their movement again? This one, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, flies into Rodden. This one, 5, 10, 15, 20, uh, flies up towards you, Raya, as you've been attacking. This one looks like it's flying towards you, Karis, as it gets in range of you. Sure. Um, all right. They dash. The other ones all circle in. Oh, this one. These begin to flee a little bit because they failed. So let me switch over on the other screen real quick to this side as that one flees away. This one flees away. These, though, all pursue Rodden. And the other one, the big one, does not move on this turn. Forgot that's a different card. One moment. Uh, they attack Rod and slash out of him. Do the protection. All right. Um, that will just hit him then for the first one. And the second one is a natural one, so that one fails. Actually, that one would be an advantage because it doesn't do for both attacks. Only it's only one, right? Well, he's Rodden took the dodge action. True, he did. So, so it would be a natural one then. It sticks. Mm -hmm. Rodden dodges out of one, and the shield he just gets by it though for the second one that does hit Rodden. Uh, All right, that works. What does it? So Rodden ends up taking some damage. Uh, you two who are out kind of notice him, like, shake as he looks like something happened to him inside of this. Do they get saved at the end of their turn, the ones that are fleeing? Do you know? Um, I think it's just for a minute, but let me... Or until it takes damage. I guess it depends on how much it functions, like, the other channels of entities. Oh, that was a bonus act. Oh, that is an act. It is an action. Okay, so it doesn't uh, do... Okay. It just has yeah, a Yeah, just it, uh, It's action. It can only use the dash action or try to escape for an effect of prevent sure. if there's no way the creature can take. So those begin to flee. Top of the round, though, One round minute. two. The, the big demon just kind of like looks at these two fleeing, raises a fist and squeezes and just like they stop. 
looks like he has some sort of control over these creatures and looks down at you and says you will not keep him from me and he's gonna attack you oh. um that will be a 21 to hit that hit all right. Ten full damage. Nineteen psychic damage for that one. All right. Does uh, the fire shield do? Does that do something? Yep. Does that go off? Yeah. Yeah. Ten points of cold damage. All right. Sounds nice. good. I was rereading it. So it's not fire flame. He has like this crystalline gold shield it from. Cool. Second attack. I don't get a plus two from this, right? <laughs> no. It's just it just covers you in like that cold yeah. and protects you. Uh second attack though is a twenty to hit. Sorry, it like 20 to hit for you on this one. Did it get you? He said yes. Yeah, okay. Um, yeah. I got an 11 AC. <laughs> <laughs> well, shield, maybe. I don't know. So. 16, yeah. Uh, 20 more psychic damage to you. Oof. You see Rend kind of shaking, too, in this dream... Trance. It's another eight point. Any more? Okay. And this is cold damage, you said? Yeah. Okay. Sounds good. Uh, Ren, it's your turn. You say it's my go? Yep, it's your turn, Ren. Okay, sorry. Again, it's it like keeps on refreshing every yeah. time. Yeah. It's okay. Um, is going to um just hold his ground, holding the sword and everything. He's kind of just ignoring the demon brought in. Here she can help us. And a quick and spell beacon of hope. Like an inspiration to him. And then go in for two attack. All right. Action. Ooh, thirteen. It's a hit. Yeah. That misses. Cool. Another one will be a seventeen. That will hit. Seventeen. Seventeen hits. Go for it. Hits. Okay. So, twelve slashing, five radiant, and then do a fourth level smite. All right, this nice. is a fiend, right? It does look like this is a fiend. We get an extra D eight. We'll go all the D eight. Go for it. In this one, it's 29 point of the other stuff. Nice, all right, that's beautiful. So, yeah, you bring down your moon blade, blade and just slice into this thing, and it looks like it just rips a giant hole, but it just comes back together. But there's a pretty massive size hole as you slice through it with your, your smite. I just I do that. Let me go in. Man, this is hard to eat. say it again. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> he broke but... up there. All right, and was, as he slashes, he just goes, and this is the the power the light can give us, Rodden. Keep on having faith. All right. Sounds good. Rodden's turn next. As you cast this spell, this like becoming this beacon of hope for him. 
Uh, he just kind of looks to you and um, looks forward towards the archway that's up ahead. And you can see in this arch, standing, looking out through this arch, you can see the forest behind, but you also see the form of Alasha enter it. And she, like, reaches out her hand towards Rodden. And you watch as, like, suddenly a glowing blade emerges in his hand. <gasps> That's so cool. And... She just kind of looks and says, fight it. And he nods. And he goes and takes an attack uh, at the one to his left first. Uh, which will hit. Slices into that for some damage. This goes for a second attack. That also hits. Slices into that for some more damage. All right. All right. Roz does not have anything nearby him at this point, so he will continue to chill there as we slide over to the other side of our battle map here. Um, Raya, your turn. Question. What if I do not remember what my... Uh, it's been a while since I used my sword swords. What if I don't remember what the little thing was that? Do you mean just bonus action? Just say you switch it to sure. Radiant? Okay. Um, I'm gonna do that, and then I'm gonna kind of make sure I'm in front of Val, like, between, or not Val, yeah, Val, um, just to make sure she's not, mm -hmm. like, in line for this. I'm gonna try and slice them with my sword with radiant damage. Go for it. Your, your new cool blades both glow with these nice. white energy. Um, uh, I got 50 on the die, I'm assuming that hits. Yeah, that will uh, hit. Okay. Um, let's I haven't used these in a hot minute. Yeah. Um, 13 damage. 13 damage. Okay. <clears throat> nice. You slice into that. It looks like that does some pretty hefty damage to it as well. Okay. And then I guess just as a thing, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell Val, like, I'll be like, stay behind me or, you know, go hide. Whatever you feel. Sure. <laughs> or make you feel safer. It's very calm. Just stay behind me. Or go hide. Stay behind. Whatever you want. Or go hide. Whatever you <laughs> want. <laughs> Do your best. Cheers, you're up. You're almost an adult. You can make your own choices. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I will step around so that it's in a line again with both of them. All right. And then just be like, okay, Val, it's going to get a little hot. You'll be good, though. And then I just... <laughs> shoo. Okay. The sunbeam ray. Sunbeam ray. All both, right. both of them con saves. That's a six and a eight. Yes. Yes. What's happening to these? They're both girls? blinded if they survive this. I it's working. Don't think they're going to. <laughs> <laughs> um. Thirty. Thirty. All right. You rip through both of these. The one in front of Raya is gone. The one in front of you is still there. Should go. Dang it! <laughs> but it's blind. It does not look like it is able to see. But it's a shadow. So. Oh. <laughs> okay. Well, well that's fine. Work, it All right. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Cool. Anything that else? That isn't how it always goes. Uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, yeah, I think that's it. I don't really have any bonus actions I want to do. Okay. I don't see any other people around right now, right? Any more shadows? Uh, just the one in front of you. That's all you see. Okay. Um, Val just kind of like looks at what's going on. Be brave. And she runs in towards the one that's by you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 
Yeah. Let's go. And is going to make an attack with her wolfy her hand. Claw. Uh, go, girl, go. So she's flanking, which will make it so that just hits, because she didn't roll amazing, but she did get enough to hit. Uh, yes. And she slashes dark, into it for a solid one point of damage. <laughs> no. She's doing it. She's doing She's so it. Not enough to take it out, though. <laughs> I was really hoping she'd finish it That'd off be and be amazing. like, I did it. <laughs> that would have been really cool. Unfortunately, it doesn't work out that way for oh, her. Oh, man. Maybe one of us on the inside can make it look like she killed it. Yeah. Uh, demon on the outside will go first. Um, it is going to lash at you, Karis. Uh, does a 12 hit you? No. Yeah, I didn't think so. <laughs> All right. Moving over to the other screen. I'm going to BRB. One second. Sounds good. The two that are running begin to move back in. And they are going to fly in and engage with Robin. Their dash. This one approaches. Uh, so now there are three that are going to attack in this round, all with Flanky. Oof. So. Oof. First one. Natural 20. We'll use for uh, I'll hold on to protect. Okay. I'll hold on to it. First one to hit him. Looks like it did a pretty was, hefty was, amount of damage. Um, oh, wait. Yeah. That was a crit. I forgot. Uh, I can't protect on the crit. No. Yep. Second attack. Uh, with advantage will be another hit for him. Ooh, that's another lot of damage. That one, like this, looks like how they take out people is when they swarm them. Like he's just swirling shadows around him. Not good. Third attack from the last one with advantage. He's able to dodge that one. He just gets out of the way barely from these one, this one. Uh, but they're swarming him. They're all right around him. He's just fighting for his life. Uh, third round. Top of the round, the big demon just looks at you again. Brennan. You can't keep him from me. He's nearly mine now. And he's going to attack you. He has a advantage. chance. What? Did you say something? I was just saying not a chance. Okay. He's yelling back. Okay. Uh, he's attacking you with advantage. Uh, that is, yeah, well over your AC to hit. You will take 16 points of cold damage, though. Cool. <laughs> okay. 30 points of psychic damage to you. Ooh. Second attack. All right. Uh, that also will hit you. Hi. Thirty-two points of psychic damage. Thirty-two. Thirty-two. Yeah. What? Brennan's down. Brennan goes down. Okay. Does uh does he take the damage from that last one before I go down or? Yeah, he'll take it from both of them. Six points. All right. Brennan, death save, please. As you watch as Ren's bomb slumps off of the orb. And you will dissipate from the division. Uh, 
That's a fail. All right. Fail. One failure. Rodden, now alone. We'll do some attacks. All right. That will hit. Attack. That will miss. Okay. Ra's turn. Karis, what are you thinking right now? As you watch R Renan slip off of this. You're muted, Rachel. You're muted, Rachel. I should be panicking, I think. Like, I'd, I'm not sure what sort of answer you'd want. Okay. Um, cause it's like, either he needs to get, Renan needs to get healed, or I need to figure out how, like, someone needs to get in there. Okay. Feeling that connection to you, he goes and enters into Rodden. Oh. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. And he will make an attack. Okay. That's Ra's turn. Ra, you're up. Um, they got that guy pretty much down. I'm going to. He's. I can tell. Like he's Kelly. I can tell you. He's... Huh? Oh, sorry. Never mind. I wanted to make. I didn't know if you were here when he went down and was nope, on. I, I, okay, you were there. I wasn't paying uh, attention. I was there. Um, okay, I got one tablet left. I'm gonna put it in his mouth and try and just make him. All right, chew with it. your action, you get him to chew his tablet. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Um, Roll a d4. Okay. Uh, four. Four. Plus one to be five. Ren, five. you get five hit points. You can pull this down, right? Yeah, I did use concentration once you go unconscious. All right. Anything else, Raya? Um, no, I'm going to basically position myself, though by him just to kind of and by rod now that Roz because i saw Roz go i think i'm gonna like probably be positioning myself here to kind of like protect them um or their bodies or whatever or Rod's body and then um ren is there okay vulnerable that's good so i'll just plant myself here curious you're up actually wait i'm so, oh, never, oh. Mind, never, mind, never mind okay mind. just kidding just kidding i changed my mind curious you're up um Hold on, there's one thing I wanted to look up really fast. Okay. Here's what I want to do. Okay. Um, I want to move to where the moon orb is. Alright. I'll take the attack of opportunity. Sounds good. Is a twenty to hit. It hits me. In a way to do protection. Uh, huh? Not from you, no. It actually leaves your space. Do you not? It does. I feet. leave. Yeah. So. Oh, right, right, right. That's, That's fine. fine. I haven't taken any damage. Uh, you take eight, eight points eight. of psychic damage. Eight. Eight. Okay. Um, and then I will quicken spell to shoot a chaos bolt at this thing to try and finish it off as a bonus action. Okay. Um, 15. That does it. Okay. Um, I just did a first level, uh, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, of okay. we'll do force force okay you is it alive hit the shadow with this p 
power of force and it poof, dissipates and wisps away. It's gone. And then I want to use my action to grab on to one, one hand on Rodden, one hand on the moon orb, and be like, get me in there! Get me in there right now! And I'm talking to Alasha. Okay. I want him in. I want in. I want in right now. You reach down, touch onto this. Focus your energy. Give me a charisma check. Okay. Uh, 18. 18. Suddenly you're standing in this weird other world that you've never really seen much of before. But you see Rodden surrounded by shadow with Roz in front of you. Karis just kind of very limply just standing there like with one hand on each. Care who? Karis, you're standing there with one hand on each, yeah. Oh, oh yeah, in the real world. Yeah, okay. Into real world. Yeah. Okay, I pop out. I'm still holding Sunbeam. I have concentration still on it. You keep um, concentration. Oh. It's a little weird coming to a different world, though. Like your body has the spell on it. This is different. So I don't have. You do not sunbeam have it up? here. No. Oh. Okay. All right. Interesting. We'll see how this goes. Um, but yeah. So, so that's I, your turn though, to enter and yep. that was your action. So Okay, so I just pop in. Yep, like, Whoa! Yep. <laughs> okay. So that's good. Alright. Val on the other side just is kind of like uh, runs over to you, Brennan. Get up, get up! You get happy friends, come on. <laughs> <laughs> good job, Val. <laughs> Thanks, Val. Uh, and if you're willing, she'll come put your hand on the orb, but if you fight her, you can decide to fight her. Uh. Your choice. Do you fight, or do you let it go? Let it go. Alright. She reaches your hand up, puts it on the orb. I tell her, go to Alasha. Not her hand. What? No, your hand. no, not your her. Hand. Yeah, oh, she's, she's putting my hand. She's grabbing yeah. your hand oh, and putting okay. it on the orb. I thought she was putting her hand on him. Like, all right, cool. She's not. Let's go. She's not doing that. But <laughs> okay. Um, Do you let her put yeah, your hand no. on the orb? Okay. So you put your your hand placed on the orb. You are suddenly back over. Thanks, <laughs> 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 All right. Uh, then we have the demons. They continue to swarm Rodden. Uh, he gets five attacks this turn. Oh my gosh. First one. I roll bad. He's got decent, so that is a... It's a plus. So that is a 13 to hit, which misses. Second one is enough to hit him. That is for 15 damage. Third attack. Uh, also rolled bad, but it still hits. Um, 12, 15 more damage to that. Fourth attack. Okay. Will also hit. That is for ten, twelve more damage. And the last attack. That is a one on one of them, and an eight on the other, for oh. a miss. <laughs> Rodden looks like he's barely holding on though. Out of the round. The big demon approaches, reaches down to Rodden, 
and goes in and grabs him. You thought you could leave me. You're mine. You watch as his form begins to change with his skin having the black rise back up his neck. You can see like on his skin the color that's in him begins to dissipate. The blade, he drops it and it dissipates in the air. As he's held up in the air by this creature. Rodden's going to make a wisdom saving throw. Alright. Ren, your turn. Um... Does the fire shield stay up, or would that go down? I think that shield? just stay. Oh, well, you left, though. So, yeah, it's gone. That was on your body. You left it, and then you came back, so it's gone. Does that make sense? Or... Your spirit body had the fire shield, and yeah. then the spirit body was dissipated. Right, gotcha. And then well, you came back, so... Well, since he was prone, we'll get up. Uh, is there a way to make my attacks to try and get him to drop Rodden? We could do a contested grapple, if you'd like, to try to pull him away. Whatever works for me. <laughs> um, just real quick, how hurt does he look? He does not look good. He looks like he is right on the edge. Oh, so you better rod him. The rodden that is in front of you in the spirit world where you are now is yeah. not looking good. Like he's transforming too, as you can see. Okay. Um Rodden's gonna stand up uh Renan's gonna stand up. Put two hands on his katana. He's already free from the darkness. The light has you. Never gives up. And I'll slash twice out at this demon. You're going for the big one? Yep. The one holding Rodden. Alright, so you kind of loop around. Can I get into a flanking position? There's no one to flank with right now. With the okay. big demon, so... You loop around, get to a spot where you can angle up. There's still swarming demons all around Rodden, but go ahead, make your attack. Oh, that's a. I'm assuming it's a good, but you cut out. No, dang it! I thought I had a, a crit on the 19. I was like, no, that's even. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, 29 hit on that one. That like, definitely hits. Super close. That definitely hits. Yeah. All right, eight plus. Eight. Hurt. Flashing. Two radiant, fifth level, right? Get caps out of six. Thirty six points of radiant on attack. Thirty six, nice. It's enough for you to slice through the arms that are holding him. The shadow like breaks apart, but then comes back together after that. As he drops Rodden, though. Um, the guy's still up. Still up. Yep. Go for another attack. You give me a quick. We'll do charisma check. We'll do, we'll do it because of your spirit walking stuff. Okay. Uh, e, e, 17. Okay. In that swing through it, you begin to see, like, it, it's hitting it and, like, dissipating it, but reforming. It almost looks like he has not taken any damage. Oh, this is not even like... It almost looks like this is just something else that's not even damageable. It's just, like, a presence here. Okay. But there's other forms here who are. Yeah. Okay. And yeah, he'll turn to another form then. Okay. Uh, do you want me to re-roll? 
because I did roll that attack. No, that's fine. But, just use whatever you rolled. So this is a nat 20. That's all I'm asking if you want me to yeah, roll. Yeah, no, it, it's, it's, it's fine to use that on. Okay, the, all right. Second <laughs> I didn't I hear like, you I say be, nat I want to be fair. <laughs> I didn't hear you say that, so you're good. Yeah, because I was like already going in at the, the one guy originally, but 19 slashing right. and 8 radiant on the back. And then I'll use first level smite. Okay. That's nasty. What? Uh, that's three eights. Nice. So Twenty-four more. Twenty-four doubled is. All right. Forty-eight. Why is it double? Oh yeah, yeah. This was an yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh man, you definitely get rid of that one. That one just <laughs> poof gone. You see Rod okay. in, like, kind of on this ground of here. And you see some of the blackness recede as you kill that one. Not done. Does that and slashes down. He's going to back up. What? Quick fifth level cure wound. Go into cure wounds on Rod. Okay. Go ahead and roll it on my phone 33 points of 33 all right nice he seems revitalized back up grabs his um, blade are you done i will rot it or ren will there's probably no way to safely get away without an arm nah not where you are <laughs> you've used a lot of movement to get to this place anyways it took you a while to get okay. looped around to not get an attack opportunity oh, okay. and then I wasn't sure if if I couldn't get away, if I could just at least get in a, with him. But here you could do protection next to him, so yeah, if you want to. So, do I have any room to? Well, I, I can't. I have a shield to do protect. Oh yeah, you don't have a shield. Forgot about that. I was just trying to see: is there any way to get to give him to give Rodden flanking? Not right now. Okay. No. Okay. Rodden's turn though. He picks up the blade. Uh, he is going to. He can do steady aim, right? He does yeah. have that ability. Because he does have rogue. Make sure he has that in his... Yep, bonus action. He can steady aim. He's going to steady aim on one of these things that are surrounding him. That is going to be a hit. And roll his damage. With sneak attack. That's two sixes on the sneak attack. That's nice. Nice job. Uh, so he slashes into one of these and looks like he did a pretty good amount of damage on that one. Uh, wait. Not wrong. Okay. Uh, that second attack does not get on this one he misses on that one unfortunately Roz though is going to loop around to get flanking with Renan and he will hit Roz is doing something this time yay Roz alright slashes into this creature this demonic shadow Raya it's your turn what are you doing you're kind of alone out there now with Val. Yeah, I'm with cricket. I'm sorry. These are yeah, so these figure things are nothing, right? They're, They're just, just the... people, yeah. Those Karis, Rodden, and okay. Renan. They're all kind of just okay. like absent from their bodies there. Because <sighs> Parmy's like, someone's gotta watch these bodies. Like they were super vulnerable, but I also wanna help. Um, I'm going to I'm gonna tell Val. I'm gonna say, go get Ratha and tell her to bring people here and tell her we need help. Okay, okay. Um, wait, wait, wait. She can't understand you. Forgot about that. Um, <laughs> um, She's just I'm gonna, looking like, at you. What? I'm gonna like point and be like, I don't know, try and do like some communication to be like, go get, like bring them back here. Can I try and do that? And here we go for D, performance check. 
All hey, right. There you go. Uh, um. Oh, hold on. I forgot what I forgot. Uh, seventeen. All right. She looks like she comprehends what you're doing. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, fangs and the <laughs> wolf. Um, and then does that count as my action? Or that would I be your action to communicate off? that. Okay. Um. I will, I guess, prepare then to just touch the orb in a minute, but I'll just wait until the next round, so. Okay. <sighs> I don't know if that was a bad idea. Maybe I should have just gone in. I don't know. I don't want to leave her here alone. Curse. Anyway, okay. Your turn. Yes. Okay. So you're. S so I don't have Sunbeam. You do not currently have it up, no. You'd have to recast it. Okay, I can't. Because it's, you know. You know. Sixth level and all. All right, so how rough does this thing look in front of me? This one. Which one? Actually, can I do something else instead? Can I do synaptic static, but do it so that it gets these two? You see where my mouse yeah, is I pointing? Yep. So it only gets those two, then at least I can maybe take out sure. a bunch at once. What level are you doing I'll that? I'll do that. I do it at fifth. All right, and intelligence save? Yeah, I mean, I guess technically it hit the big guy too. Okay. But it is an intelligence save, correct. 15 for the first one. Fail. And less, 11. Fail. All right, and then the big one, um, I'll just roll for funsies. Yeah. Yeah, it's a 20 to 20. Okay. Um, so now they take full damage, which I'll roll in a second. Um, and they have muddled thoughts. During that time, it rolls a d6 and subtracts the number rolled from all of its attacks, rolls, and ability checks. Nice. Okay. So. Um, some damage. Finally, we get to use it not screwing us over. You did. <laughs> right? actually, uh, you did it. Benefiting. <laughs> Thirty psychic. Thirty psychic, nice. So yeah, it looks like they both take a pretty good amount of damage from that. All right. And uh, I will move. Um. Oops. Whoa. Oh my gosh! I just pulled up a character sheet. I don't even use on this thing. Okay. <laughs> um. Yeah, I'll just. Why won't it let me? He just keeps doing it. What are you doing? You want to move up here? I don't know where I want. I just wanted to move somewhere. Okay. Move here? So I could absorb some blows for Ren, you know? So oh, you I'll just be move up. up. Here? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. Yep. Yeah. Uh, and then for a, for bonus for a bonus action, I'll convert a spell slot into some sorcery points. Sounds good. Val runs back towards the village. <laughs> She's gone. <laughs> She's doing great. She's doing her job. Uh, so yeah, she takes off with her turn. The demons get to go. Renan, or not Renan, Rodden gets four attacks this round. Every one of them is flanking. Two of them will have a DC six subtracted from their rolls. Let's do this. First one. That is a 17 hit. That will hit. It's a lot more damage. 16, 19 points of damage. That one. Second attack for the second one attacking. Uh, that one is only a 14, which misses. Third one, minus a d6. 14 minus 5, 9 plus. Yeah, no, that's a miss. That's 14 again. Your synaptic sack saved him on that one, Rachel. Yeah. And the last one, ooh, that's a 17 on the die minus 4, 13 plus 5 is 18. That does hit him still. All right. 12, 15 
points of damage. He again looks pretty rough. <laughs> but that's his turn. That's their turn. Top of the round. The big demon looks at you, Renan. You can't save him. He's mine. He's gonna attack you. Natural 20. I think that's just right. gonna shunt you back out. I think you got like five HP, right? Yeah. Okay. So it's, bad. it's good you stay behind. Though. I was gonna say, I'm gonna stabilize for sure. I'm just, mm -hmm. I'm just like, oh, trying to keep all the bodies safe. Yeah. <laughs> You know, you know that I think me and Ren both have tablets too. Oh, that's true. Yeah. He sends you unconscious. Uh, he then is going to go down and grab Rodden again. Begin to pick him up. Okay. Ren and death save, please. Er I'm so good at these. What is that fail what? again? Yep, because these are these are what I'm good at. <laughs> That's a failure. One failure. Okay. That kind of has an ability check. <laughs> nope. As <laughs> fate taking you or letting you live. All right. Rodden. He's in this thing's grass. He's gonna try to escape. Acrobatics check. It's 25. Let's see if it beats it. He does beat it. He wiggles out of its grasp. And he's going to go and stab at the one that he's flanking with. Uh, Ross. That will hit. Alright. All right, he does some more damage to it. Roz is going to also attack the one that they just attacked. That will also hit. Roz is doing his job today. Yes, he is. That's enough to get rid of that one. That one's gone. Good. Raya, you see, Ren just slumped back I'm again. <laughs> ah, ah, I'm panicking. Uh, I'm going to go, go into Ren's pocket and get a tablet out and again make him chew it. All right. Another. <laughs> Roll a d4 for me, please. All right. Come on. Raya's the real superstar here. For on it. DPR out there. Yep. I'm, I'm no medic, but uh, uh, you said a plus plus one, right? So four. Four total. Uh, okay. Total. So you're like, heal yourself before you go back in. <laughs> your max stays five higher than before, but you do get four health points back. You don't get to add four more to your max health. Does that make sense? They don't stack. I forgot. Okay. Yeah. The tablets raise yeah. your max health, but it's whatever effect right. of it is, you look at the highest effect that you have. So the five still stays, but it's not relevant right now. Okay. Right. All right, right. Anything else? That was your action. Okay. Nope. Karis, you're fighting for your life with your friend here, and Roz. Okay. Um, so I will do another synaptic static at these two again. All right. So they have to roll. They have the save. minus d6 already, right, to their save. Yeah. All right. That was a minus six to that one, for a total of fourteen. It rolled really good on the D20. Yeah, fail. But the minus six killed it. It does. It kills it every time. That is half damage. Unfortunately, I don't think it's good. What? So, I rolled a natural 20, but those don't count as auto successes. Minus five, mm -hmm. plus two. So that it would be a 17. 
which I think yeah, which is think mine. Makes it, so. Yeah. Okay. So half damage for that one. Oh no, oh, Kelly! Kelly's gone. <laughs> All right. Kelly, we need you to revive Red. Don't okay, I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> it, like, it like it just connected for a second. I kept trying a bunch of things and it wasn't working, so I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, I'll roll anyway for all of this. Um, I'm spending a sorcery point to re-roll. Okay. Thirty-four psychic. Thirty-four psychic. And it's half for the one, okay. Mm-hmm. One of them poof, dissipates. And sorry, I was gonna say this earlier. I I'm quickening spell that one. Okay. Um standing right here. Uh comparison, which one looks worse? Uh the one that you've been hitting with the synaptic static. Okay. Um, sorry, I didn't mean to move. Um, yeah, I will use a cantrip. I'll do um, frosty right at it. All right. Go for it. To try and finish it off. Uh, 19. That does hit. Okay. How many is it now for a cantrip? Is it 3D, whatever. It is. It's 3D8 now. Let's see you do it. Take it out. Oh, I might have. I rolled an eight and two sevens. Wow. So that is 22? Yes. It's gone. Okay. And then um, I think I'll just like move in front of this. Like I'm just standing in front of Rodden. Okay. And, like trying as much as I can to block this guy and like take his attention. Because I know Rodden's not doing good. I don't have any way to heal him. So. Sounds good. Just trying to take as much of the brunt of it as I can. Sounds good. The last demon is going to try and take out Rodden, who has one hit point. Oh my god. Buddy. Here we go. Rodden's AC is 15. Okay. <laughs> this thing has drawing a much. plus 5 to its attack. <laughs> and I rolled a 9. Okay. <laughs> 14 oh. to hit. Oh. Wow. <laughs> wow. Okay. <laughs> Sounds Imagine good. Imagine the just the hand out of the way like, no. Mm-hmm. Sounds good. All right. Top of the round. The big demon looks down at you. You can't keep him from me either. He's going to attack you. He's flanking okay. you. Okay. That I is... can take it. I'm tough. It's a 24 to hit. Yeah. Uh, that is going to be for 20 34 points of damage psychic damage to the first attack okay second one another hit uh nine, you taking damage at rachel besides a, a demon hit me. Okay. 32 oh. more psychic damage. Like, what? I can't keep this up forever for sure. Like, another <laughs> yeah. round and I'm down probably. But, you know, like, <laughs> you know. I'm okay for this round. Renan, you're up. Okay. Um, well. So. You again wake up on the might. cold ground. <laughs> Raya. I can't try. Wake up, wake up, wake up. Um. I miscounted my sorcerer points because it leveled up. Um, so, um, I'm 
I'm gonna do what Renan does. Uh, he stand up and guess action to. Go. So you reach your hand out to go in. Yeah, is it an action to go back in? Yeah, give me a charisma check. Stopping me from helping. Uh. <laughs> Well, uh, charisma check or Chris persuasion? Charisma check. 16. 16? 16, yeah. Said, yeah. Okay. Sorry, yeah, I'm 16. missing. It keeps breaking out. So I yeah, I know. It's, it's, it's pretty glitchy. Okay. Yeah, you're back in. Oof. <laughs> awesome. I love the, like, the demons are just watching him just like pew, 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 pew. <laughs> I mean, he's back uh, in with gonna... four hit points now, but mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna quicken spell aid three of us at this level. Nice. Nice. Okay. That's smart. So, what level do you say? Sorry, I'm missing what you're saying. Oh, we got... What level? No, I was just trying to figure out if I had anything else to do, but that's it. What level do you say second? Fifth. Fifth level. That's. 20 points for everybody. 20 points, bad. Okay. Nice, nice. Sweet. All right. Is that it? Yeah, I get. Yeah, I don't. I got nothing. Okay. Rodden will once again uh, steady aim on the last one remaining. That is a hit. anywhere buddy been 83 episodes getting you you're not going yeah. you <laughs> slashes into it second attack hits all right looks like he's doing some damage to it still up though Roz will go over to flank with you Karis Tax, that is a hit. Roz is doing great this fight. Um, some more damage. Raya, you're on the outside again. <laughs> um, now that I've seen this, ha I I don't want to go in until I know someone else can like revive us. I'm gonna stay. Um, so I'm just gonna wait. But with I can I take an action to really like look around my surroundings and like see if there's anything like in the physical realm that's like happening sure. I guess Perception realm. Okay. yeah I'm not going that'd be foolish for me to go in um dirty 20 okay you're looking out with your goggles down to to help you see in the dark mm -hmm. you don't see anything else no shadows lingering just kind of watching okay, okay. Um, just in anticipation, I don't know if this counts as an action. Can I get, can I look in their pockets and get whatever potions or whatever I have out? Can that happen? You can, or, you can dig I... around in Karis real quick and pull out her yeah, tablet. Yeah, I'll do that. Do you, do you have just a tablet or do you have potions? Just, just a tablet. tablet, yeah. I don't think I have any potions okay. left. Okay. I'm just going to keep it in my hand, like, ready to, I'm just watching. Ready to go in case going. it happens again. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Karis, oh. back to you then. Okay. Um... How bad is the demon looking? That one looks like it's taking some some damage, so so is rotten, but yeah. Go for it. Right. There's the big um, guy too that's still there. But Uh-huh. 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 Yeah, I kinda want Rodden to like get out of here. Can I No, pushing him away would also probably be bad. Ugh. <sighs> Um, sorry, I keep clicking on the wrong tab. I have I an idea. I forgot to put up just... one little detail, too. Karis, as you're looking at this demon, like the smaller demon, each one yeah. of them kind of has the same demonic rotten face. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, my god. You kind of have that, like, okay. shadowy, demonic-y looking rotten face as you look at them. Creepy. All right. Um, okay, I want to, um, 
I'm trying to, so, okay, what I'm trying to do, I'll just tell you what I'm trying to do. Maybe you can give me an idea. Mm -hmm. I want to kind of step away for a minute um, to do a chaos bolt so I'm not rolling at disadvantage. Okay. Um, I guess if I go this way, it just gets him to swipe at me, right? Because yeah. I, I don't want it to attack could, us up upward. Or you could go to the other side of Rodden, too, either one. If you want to be next to Rodden still. I want to block him from... See, basically what I want to do is... I... What? You just, like, go down diagonally to the right. That would be still next to Rodden, but you wouldn't be within... You only get one attack opportunity that way. Oh, like this? Yeah. Yeah. And then, yeah, because I still want to be between Rodden and this guy. Makes sense. Okay. The big guy. So, yeah, but I will... No? Uh, no, because then I can't do Chaos Bolt. Oh, that's So it'd be two spells. All right, here we go. Attack opportunity. That is a 23 you... to hit. Yeah, that's fine. You can still do the attack of opportunity. Um, it hits, yeah. That is for... Oof, that's 14 damage. Sorry. That's okay. Um, actually, though, you have a good point. My... With the dimension door. Can you go? Um, cause he's at one hit point, right? He's at 21 now, cause of age. Oh, he's at 21. Okay, then I'm just gonna try and Chaos Bolt this thing and get rid of it. The one round down. Huh? I'm so sorry, Mike. You keep Go for it, Rachel. Right. Just do your thing. Yeah. Do your thing. Okay. Just say, yeah, do your thing. Um, I don't know if I hit. Um... Roll? I rolled a two. Ooh. Got an eleven. That misses, unfortunately. Okay. Um. Yeah. All right. If I had a plan, if I if it didn't take it out, I was gonna quicken spell. So if you'd let me do that, then I can shoot a frosty ray at it. But you still have that, right? You didn't. There's no reason you can't do it, right? Okay. Yeah. 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 You haven't. You have still a bonus action. So I do. Yes. Go for I'm it. I'm just panicking a little <laughs> bit. I'm sorry. And then I was second guessing myself. It was a lot. Okay. Yeah. I rolled a lot better. It was a 14 on the die. So that I'm hits. pretty sure that hits. Yep. Okay. Um. Okay. That is a sorcery point to re-roll some things. 18. 18. Okay. Still up, though. Okay. That demon is going to attack Rodden again. That is a hit still. Up the round. Big bad demon. He's mine. Attacking you, Karis. Okay. Straight roll this time. That is a... 16 to hit. I'll shield it. Bring up the shield. Bring your AC to what? Um, that would be up to... Because it rolled a 20 on the second attack. 21, actually. Your shield blocks both these two dark, shadowy claws coming down to attack you. It's like shadow versus shadow. As <laughs> yeah! They block it. And it lets out this roar of anger watching that happen. Right in, it's your turn. Take these decks paste. Oh. <laughs> Um, so give me a quick picture. Do I have one of the little demons left? There's one little yes. demon left that's there, uh, between have Roz and Rodden a little bit. He's not quite flanking it, but they're kind of opposite. Um, I'll try and get into a position if I can. One of them on the little demon. Okay. Do you want to step between the big demon and Rodden a little bit, or do you want to be more flanking with Rodden? 
Uh, what was the question? Sorry. So you can step between the big demon and Rodden a little bit and be flanking with Roz, or you can go and flank with Rodden. And you wouldn't be between the big demon and Rodden. Uh, I'll go between the big guy. Between the big guy and Rodden? Okay. Sounds good. Um, by the way, do I, based on fights with these things before or anything, would I know how fire damage would? Don't think you've seen any fire damage to them. But in the past, I've kind of known sometimes fire damage doesn't. Hold on. I mean, other demons, yeah. You don't know what these are, though. I'm not gonna risk it. Would be it. But. You will. Um. Yeah, he's just gonna take two swings at poor little buddy. Alright. Attack the little guy. Go for it. Advantage on the attack. Oh, this is so close. Uh, 21. That hits. Saw the moon. But it didn't land. Saw the moon! <laughs> saw the moon! That's 7 slashing, 6 radiant. Alright. Uh, I will... Uh, second level smite. Oh, wait, you said 6 radiant. Yeah, you just slice right through it. It's gone. Okay, cool. Oh, God. Saves me, saves me the spell slot. Um, okay. Like, I'm really confused with this big guy. Um, well, the last little one. as you slice through the last one, the last little shadowy thing is gone. You kind of watch it begin to flicker out and the shadow begin to disperse from it and just looks down I will claim your life then if you won't serve me. As he just misses out and he's gone. The big guy dissipates. <sighs> On his action healing word. Unrotted. <laughs> and he just goes, buddy! <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! Are you okay? Yeah, I'm like taking yeah, him by the um, shoulders, like maybe shaking him a little aggressively because I'm like. Thanks for help. Oh my. And he just like looks ahead at the gate up ahead where Awasha is standing. Uh, that should go, right? Yeah. He's just giving him a push. Okay. <laughs> and he Isn't begins that... to sort of move that direction, walking towards her. And Alasha looks to both of you. Good work. Thanks. I'll take it from here. And you feel yourself kind of as he reaches her and grabs her hand and walks through that gateway into the forest. Both of you get pulled out back into the world in your bodies with a very exasperated ride. Just like, <laughs> you're <laughs> holding like a thing. I think Renan would fall as if he's, like, fainted again. <laughs> Just lay on the ground exhausted. But both oh my gosh! I, like, that's, like, how I wake up. <laughs> like... Yeah, you, you're just there. You both wake up. Uh... Where's Val? Oh, she went to go get help. She went to go... I sent her to get Ratha. Well, I think. I don't know. I tried my best. She's getting someone. <laughs> What was that? What was that? Was that Zan? As you panic, though, and talk, you kind of watch <laughs> as you see a faint glow coming from Rodden. As he's sitting there with his hands on the orb. Oh, boy. I, like, stop panic immediately, and I just, like, look at him, like... You're kind of in the dark and the quiet, waiting for a little bit. Hear some rushed footsteps of guards and Ratha. And they kind of approach and see you given that it's okay. Sorry. And they stand at the outskirts of the, the circle watching. You wait for a little bit. 
to see what happens when Rodden comes out of this trance. And we're going to end there tonight for this extra large session today. <laughs> uh, or waiting can run and do prayer of healing. You can do that as you're waiting, yes. Yay! So you can roll some hit points. Uh, but congratulations on defeating Rodden's 10 levels of Warlock packed with Zangul. Today. Oh, that's <laughs> oh, crazy. You defeated wow. the 10 levels of Zangul packed. Oh, uh, I love ooh. that. So, there are 10 d shadow demons there. All oh, that's what... That, so. so that's why like some of the first ones were super easy to go through, is because they were like level... Or is it like... Oh, they're all the same. Those ones are oh. vulnerable to radiant damage. So you rip right ah, through them every time you did radiant damage. Okay. Nice. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so it's level spoil. Like oh yeah, that's <laughs> gone yeah. like instantly. <laughs> so, oh my uh, But gosh. good work, everybody. You helped Rodden break Ooh. the pact with uh, Zangul today and begin a pact Yay. maybe with Alasha. So congratulations Yay. on that. That was a grueling battle. I didn't think some CR4 creatures were going to give that much difficulty to you guys, but... Uh, oh, it's the man. swarm! <laughs> the swarms, those were, those were get you. But... And not having armor and then taking hits from... Uh... <laughs> yeah, the big, yes. bad, the big bad was pretty rough there, for sure. Uh, but thank you for joining us, everybody, today. I hope you enjoyed the session. I appreciate everyone being here. Um, we're going to sign off our recording here. We're going to do a raid after that shortly. But thank you again. We appreciate you all. You are all super awesome and wonderful people. And it's not technically two years today. So we're not celebrating today. But next oh, week yeah. will be our two-year celebration of starting Yay. the game streaming. Yay. So show up next week for our two-year celebration of Beacon's Aura. Yay! And very exciting. I uh, hope we get to see you all then uh but thank you goodbye